Oh, what is up, y'all? Happy Friday. Good to be back. Good to be back. I am sorry. I was, uh, I was pooped. I was pooped this week. I was not intending to take four days off of stream. Um, I mean, t okay, so technically, technically it wasn't four days. I did have the uh, hot fix on Wednesday, but it definitely, uh, it definitely felt like four days. Definitely felt like it. I feel like this game, even on super low um, settings, is just so obnoxiously loud. This game, this game goes hard on the uh, on on the soundtrack. I have my my audio settings in game turned down pretty low, and it, I still feel like it's screaming at me to the point where like I can't even think. But um, some of you may be wondering why I'm not playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, I I think I've had my fun with the game. I it kind of started to hit me at the end of uh, Sunday. I kind of started feeling it a little bit, and I'll be honest, like I just don't really enjoy the speed run. <laughs> I don't really enjoy the speed run at all. I'll put that one PB that I got on YouTube whenever I feel like getting around to it, but um, and I'll probably put it on the leaderboards. But yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think I have an interest in like running the game with any degree of seriousness. It, a lot of it, honestly, just has to do with the fact that. When you're trying to go fast, you get stuck on this like the littlest shit. And it makes what would otherwise be really fun movement, it makes it really annoying to actually try to execute because you'll be like, you'll be cruising and then all of a sudden there'll be a fucking goblin hiding in a bush that you're not even in combat with yet that doesn't even know you're there. And I'll be going like 45 degrees in the opposite direction and it'll just send me It'll just send me over to the goblin because it thinks that I'm trying to attack it. And it just, from a speed run perspective exclusively, I just didn't really enjoy that. I don't like games where you have to like do the equivalent of spamming dodge roll in order to move around optimally. I, I really, I don't like that at all. And I've done it in games like Back for Blood before, but the thing about Back for Blood is that it doesn't auto lock you on to some random fucking enemy that you're not even in combat with right now. Like a pig. <laughs> like it'll it'll start attacking oxen and pigs and shit. So it's like Yeah, I don't know. It just it, it made the the movement I was not really a big fan of because of the way that the like lack of targeting system combat stuff was and also the fact that there's basically no combat in the run and the combat that you do have is just so tedious that it just doesn't even feel good so definitely not my kind of game from a speed run perspective i really enjoyed the game casually and i if they do dlc I will definitely go back to the DLC for sure. I'll definitely go back to the DLC. But I've had a few days now since uh, since Monday. I've had a few days now to think about what do I really want to do? And this was already kind of what I was planning on doing anyway. Like we talked about this before Dragon's Dogma 2 even came out that like we would do the Souls-like first playthrough marathon thing. 
until Dragon's Dogma 2 came out. And then if, if I was going to play Rise of the Ronin, we would let that run its course as well, which I don't think I'm going to play Rise of the Ronin right now. I've, I've heard it's pretty bad and that it probably would be better to play it when it goes on sale and gets some performance updates as well. Um, perhaps when it's not PlayStation 5 exclusive either. I don't know. I mean, I have a PS5, so I don't care, but... I'm not 100% sure that I care to play that game right now because apparently it does not live up to the hype of all the other Team Ninja games. So, um, so with us putting that on the back burner, my plan was always to come back to Elden Ring. So what's going to happen over the next couple of months, I will probably still be weaving other games into Elden Ring over the next two months. I want to wanna be pretty transparent about what my intentions are with this game because we're going to be doing some a variety of things with Elden Ring over the next two months. First and foremost, I want to do a casual playthrough of the game. I have not done a casual playthrough of Elden Ring in two years. I played through the game one time and then I started speedrunning it. Probably not a good idea on my part to do that. It's probably one of the reasons that it contributed to my burnout so early on with the game. But, um, I mean, I only ran the game for like two months before I burned out, which was pretty sad because I fucking loved speedrunning this game. This game was so fun to run. Well, I guess it was three months that I ran it, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to do a casual playthrough and we're going to start that today. And the idea is, like, I want to do... I want to do things a little differently than I would normally do them from a casual perspective. I want to try to play the game in a way, in a little bit of a different way than I normally play. So, like, in my casual playthrough, I went for, like... I ended up going with Sword of Night and Flame as my build, basically, is what happened in my first playthrough, but obviously the game is pretty different now compared to what it was two years ago. So I want to not only go with like a totally different build for a casual playthrough, but I also want to just play the game on current patch because I, I don't want to get so acclimated to playing the game on a down patch that... I basically end up not feeling adequately ready for the DLC when the game plays quite a bit differently on the down patch. So that's more or less what the logic is behind the casual playthrough. I wanna I I, I have not casually played this game in a long time. We did the crowd control run a couple of months ago, which that was super fun. But even then, like, it wasn't really a, a, a genuine experience with the game, obviously, because there were a lot of chaos things happening <laughs> at, at any given moment. So I'm going to do a, a, a casual playthrough and just enjoy the game for what it is, because I haven't done that in a long time. I'm going to go with a different build than I normally go with. And I, I, I'm probably not going to 100% the game, per se. But I'm going to try to kill as many bosses as I can. I'm going to try to to build up a decent collection of weapons and spells and stuff. And the main reason for that is because when the DLC drops, I want to kind of have my pick before I go into the DLC of what, whatever my starting weapon is going to be. And obviously, my plan is definitely not to use any of the old weapons once we actually get a new weapon in the DLC. But I want to sort of have my pick so that I have time to think about what weapons and stuff that I want to actually start with. I'm probably going to start with a speedrun weapon just because, you know, it's... I feel like it's on brand, you know, but... I am probably going to experiment with a few different things. Trying out some different builds. Um, I do have a couple of limitations that I'm going to be imposing on this run. I'm not going to consider it like a challenge run or anything. But I am going to be capping myself at level 125. I don't want to be higher than that for the DLC. 
I thought about going to 150 because I'm not really a big fan of PvP. But I... If I really have a problem with the invasions, I'll just... I'll just play the game offline. Like, I don't really... I don't really have any major qualms about that, to be honest. So... And, like, I'll probably be playing the game offline anyway because of speedrun stuff, so... That's that's more or less my thought on it. But I think 125... Oh, sorry, excuse me. I think 125 is a good... A good level cap for the DLC. And feeling like I am, you know, adequately leveled, but at the same time, not just, like giving myself the most stats of everything that I could possibly have and all of that. So, um, I am not sure how enemy like boss damage scaling and all that stuff is going to be in the DLC. I will make sure in this playthrough that I have plenty of, uh, larval tears because if I do need to respec in the expansion, I don't want to have to deal with not having those. <laughs> so I think in general, that would just be a pretty good idea. I don't know why, but um, Elden Ring is not recognizing my controller. I am going to restart the game very quickly. I feel like this has happened before. I don't know when, but I feel like this has happened before. Hopefully we can get it to work. Uh, I do have a... Uh, oh. An error occurred. Okay, well, maybe that has something to do with it. Let me see here. Oh, come on. What is going on? Game. Start Elden Ring. Oh, my controller works. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, here we go. New game. We got to figure out what starting class we're going to play. That's right. You can actually have it show the stats. What starting class do we want to play? I mean, in the grand scheme of things, the starting class doesn't really matter that much. It might not be a bad idea to start as Wretch, just so that way, like, we have a, a relatively decent uh, stat distribution in case I decide to try some different things. I, I'm not, I'm probably not going to go for like a samurai build in this playthrough just because like that's what I, that's what I always do. But it, to be fair though, I'm not a big fan of like, like I'm probably not going to do an arcane build or anything. So I wouldn't mind having a starting class with my, where my arcane stats are lower. But I do want to play a class that I don't normally play. And the classes that I have played a lot in the past are Warrior, Astrologer, Samurai. Those are kind of the main three. So I, I think I want to play a different class than those. Greatsword build. If I'm going to do a Greatsword build, I probably want to go Vagabond. I don't normally do great swords, so that's that's definitely something that I would be willing to look at. Vagabond would be pretty good for that. Let me see who's got 
And the nice thing about Vagabond is the, the arcane stat starting value is actually pretty low. So I think it might actually be the lowest. So yeah, I mean, I would entertain the idea of a great sword build and uh, Vagabond's got decent starting stats for that. So sure. I'm down. I'm going to like go with my actual character name because of, uh, do I even have a, a template anymore? Let me see. I do. I do. This is this is my attempt at me and the character creator chat. <laughs> it's I, I, it's pretty bad. It does not look very good, but it does not look very good. I'm gonna go with my old preset. We gotta we gotta bring back the OG character look. All right. All right. Um, keepsake. Um, I mean everything that is here keepsake wise is. All of it is stuff that I can get later anyway. And of course, I know where like all the golden seeds and stuff are. Or at least I think I remember where they all are. Um, I, I might just grab a cracked pot or something. Just to have an extra container if I decide to craft anything. I think I think that's good. All right, here we go. This is, as I mentioned before, this is the prep file that we are making for the Elden Ring expansion. I am pretty excited to play the game casually for the first time in over two years. And we're going to be doing things pretty much completely differently than I did in my, my original playthrough just to try to make things more interesting. So here we go. We'll watch the cutscenes and stuff since it's been this long. And I'm expecting that this playthrough is probably going to take me a week. Um, my first playthrough was about 100 hours. I don't think that it's going to take me that long to do it this time around. Because obviously I know where like, I know where most of the stuff is. So, But we're still going to be crawling through most of the areas, so. I did the Ronnie ending my first playthrough. I'm going to go for a different ending this time. I think I might actually do Frenzied Flame ending this time. I think I will probably I'm probably not going to do like all of the legacy dungeons and stuff but was first to perish I'm going to do as much as I can that I feel like doing <laughs> offspring demigods all claimed the shards of the elden uh, and I'm also kind of making this up a little bit on the fly, but I'm also going to region lock myself too. The mad taint of the if you don't know what region locking is, it's a pretty common term used in the speedrun scene where you can't go to the next area until you do everything. Well, not everything, but you have to kill the rune bearing boss of that area before you can leave. I'm going to impose that on myself just so that way I don't just get a giga juice character. 30 minutes into the a game. Leading to so I'll, I'll give myself a little bit of by challenge, which I'm already getting a little bit of challenge by going with like a completely different build than I normally do, but. Oh. Eyes now. Man, they ruined that line because of the frame the stutter. Who yet live. Oh. The call of long lost grace. Also, Sasha, thank you for the Speak 80 stream all. consecutive streak. Holy oh, shit. Double chocolate chip, thank you for the five stream streak. Horaloo. Horaloo. Chieftain of the Badlands. The 
ever brilliant gold mask. Fear, Fear. the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Othmere. The all-knowing. <laughs> they better bring this dude back for the expansion or I'm going to be madge. They better bring him back. <laughs> and one other. Whom Grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. The fog. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before the Elden Ring. Oh. <laughs> and become the Elden Lord. That's what they that's what they that's what they want you to do. They want you to to be the Elden Lord, but No, I'm not I'm not all about the At Chief. I have to remember the freaking controls, dude. If I am not mistaken, I believe the weapon art on this is square off this weapon. Yes, it is. Okay. By the way, I I am horrible. Horrible at this first boss. I'm probably I'm probably gonna have to come back to it later. I don't know if I'll be able to go light low. Let me see. Okay, there we go. I don't think that there's like any items over here. I always just rush this part anyway. I mean, I guess if there are items, we come back here later. So it doesn't really matter that much. There it goes, rip. Yeah, I'm terrible at that fight. Terrible. It's all the appendages, honestly. That's what it is. That boss doesn't have an overly complicated move set, but it's it's different enough that it's kind of hard to see because of all the different limbs. It's torrent, Peepo torrent. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. Yeah, that's a good pony. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden the Ring. The Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. She's trying to to sow the seeds, you know.
The Seeds of Destiny. Ever watched any of the cutscenes or listened to the dialogue? I don't even know what the story is. <laughs> hey, hey, you do you. Some people don't care. In my casual playthroughs, even if I'm not particularly invested in the story, I still like to... Uh... All right, are we, are we going to go kill Soldier of Godric? All right, let's do it. I haven't killed Soldier of Godric in like two years. Here we go. These guys don't drop anything useful, so we're just gonna we're gonna rush them. This is just a Giga tutorial, so. Should be coming up here soon. I think the last time I went through this cave was just for the randomizer. Oh, there he is. Everybody's favorite boss. Well, okay, that was sad. I keep forgetting that the range on this is actually not that good. There we go. Oh, yeah. Got him. Take that, soldier of God, Rick. Um. This way. Yes. Hardest boss in the game right there, chat. <laughs> Strength. Okay. If I remember right, you don't actually have to touch the grace that's over here. Because for whatever reason, it gives you the grace for free after you leave Limgrave, but I'm going to take it anyway, because why not? All right. Well, here we are. Off to Limgrave. And I'm forgetting that we don't have Torrent yet. Oh! Rather unfortunate that he chose to be in that spot, you know. We're going to pick up all the amazing fruits, okay? I'm going to try not to aggro the boss over here, though. We'll kill him eventually, don't you worry, but. <clears throat> You're a and I can also let you alone, then why? I am Kale. I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. We're gonna grab us a little crafting kit, dude. Goodbye. Look at this beautiful dog right here. Beautiful dog. A very nice looking dog. This one too. Oh, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna rush Torrent as much as I can. So, again, like having like like knowing where things are, right? Like obviously, you know, I'm playing the game casually, but I also, you know, I'm not gonna ignore the fact that like I know where stuff is, right? The region lock is kind of gonna be the thing that at least somewhat prevents me from just going crazy. So we'll go ahead and uh, kind of do a little bit of an initial setup here in Limgrave specifically. There's a lot of like really great starting items in Limgrave and I want to find a different weapon because I have done a starting gear only run of this class. If you would like to check that out, I have an edited version on my main channel and an unedited version of it on my VOD channel. I actually did a run Traveler with every class the fog. just using the starting I equipment. It was really fun. It, it, I One of the things of these games that I always find myself not doing often is like trying out different weapons and it was a really good opportunity for me to try different weapons. Offer you an accord. You do. Whatever for. I'm just kidding. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? No, I've never heard of them. They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. We're pretending I haven't played before, so. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Well, that sucks. The role of maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. you. Only take me with you. Sorry, I know, I know, like a lot of the dialogue in this game, all of the main story dialogue, anyway. <clears throat> um, did my controller disconnect again? Let me try using my PS5 controller. Not trying to be dealing with this all day. Did my game audio just completely quit out? Okay. Listen. Listen. What happened to my game audio, dude? What is this? Hold on a second. Let me let me restart my game real quick. I don't know what's been going on with my controllers. All right, let's try this again. Uh, why is the game being weird today? It's like my whole system audio cut out. What the heck? Okay, I think that might hopefully have fixed it. Something when my controller disconnected, it like moved my audio stuff over. All right, let me see. Let's try this again. I'm going to try using my PS5 controller. I don't know what's been going on with my Xbox controllers, but they have been acting very strangely, which is really upsetting because I, I've been getting increasingly frustrated with the build quality of Xbox controllers lately. All right, let's try this again. I don't think this was an Elden Ring issue. I'm pretty sure that this was a, a controller issue. All right. Uh, can y'all hear the game? I think you can, right? I can hear it, so... All right, we're going to just use my PS5 controller. Have you reconsidered my offer? Have I? Ah. Sheesh, I don't know. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. 
I bequeath to you this ring. Oh damn, I'm getting married already? Jesus. Use it. Better take it with you. First great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. I will I will treat him with the utmost of respect, okay? Rost me. I don't think I have enough money right now to level up anything. So what I am gonna do. I gotta I gotta remember PS5 controls here because I, I never use Do I normally I think I normally have that. You know what I also want to do? I prefer HUD to just be on, so. All right. Uh, there's a staircase around here. I want... Oh, God. I want the knife that's down here. So I can do my weapon mods and change the Ashes of War and stuff like that. I think I'm remembering now. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and work our way. Oh, there's a really decent sword in here. Might be better than what I'm using right now. Or no, not, it's not a sword. It's a flail. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm thinking of the sword. I'm pretty sure that sword drops from these guys. Or no, maybe it's this right here. I could have sworn that there was a sword. Aha, yeah, yeah. I was right. The Lord Sworn's Grace. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can power stance this. May I ask what your fastest speed running all remembers this boss? Glitchless? Uh, I didn't run glitchless. So, um, I don't know what, I guess, uh, unde undetermined. <laughs> I did run all remembrances, um, like unrestricted or whatever, not unrestricted, whatever the heck. I don't remember all the names of the categories, but I did run a, a glitched version of it where you could use torrent. Uh, with the Pegasus glitch to fly around the map. That run was really fun. But unfortunately, when the chainsaw glitch got found, it made it really boring. And also inaccessible because it's really fucking painful. It's really painful to do that run on the wrists. Is the volume okay for you guys, by the way? I can turn it back up a little bit if it's too quiet. For me, they fought. For me. Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? Yeah, all remembrances is a really fun category, though. Maybe just a little bit louder. Okay, I can turn the game volume up just a smidge. think about it? Heading to Stormvale Castle. The Spirit Tuner. By the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider. I need to turn off ambient oh, occlusion too. Two peas in a pod. My character's looking a little grainy. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off, or legs, or your head. 
I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just. I feel like scared. the game volume is fine. It's like the the voices are really low. All right, let me see. Let me just go in here real quick. Let's go like maybe something like that. Oh, I know. Can you take this? Oh, the little jellyfish. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It will be glad of your company, I think. The little one. The little one. It was a pleasure. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, tell them I love them. I'm finally getting... Alright, uh, yeah, let me see... What's going on with my... Ambient occlusion here? I think it's actually this here. I'm gonna turn it down one, because I don't want it to just like completely tax my system. Turn motion blur off. Okay, um, cool. Let's go... Uh, which way do we want to go, actually? I guess we could go talk to Ronnie real quick. Which that is... Did I not activate the freaking grace at... Oh, my God. I didn't activate the grace at the church. That's my bad. That's my bad. Mod view on mobile now? Yeah, it just came out yesterday. Huge. Huge! a charge we can talk to melina this tiny golden aura is the grace of the earth tree this light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren hope you're doing well wolf but now hope you had a good mod appreciation day to. yesterday i didn't stream it's yesterday i wanted to but i woke up way too late yesterday i had i, I got my son on the bus and i went right back to bed that guide you i was pooped earth. this week Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard, a demigod. If the right. I think, the um, as an ally, I pray to face the ch I'm not gonna worry too much about the like, I need a hint from Melina dialogue line stuff. Let my hand share them with me. All right, so it's 800 runes. I thought Ronnie would be here by now. But I guess not. I think maybe I have to actually go, like... I think... I, I want to say you actually have to go into Stormvale Castle before she shows up or something like that. I don't remember. I, I could have sworn we could get the Imp Ashes pretty early in the run. But... Could have sworn...
Did it drop anything good? No. Arn. Nah, let me go back. If that's the case, then let me go back. Yeah, I think you actually need to, like, go up here, but I could be wrong. You might have to, you might have to do Margit first. But I'm actually not going to go that way yet. So again, I'm not doing a challenge run per se, um, but I am, I am going to region lock just so that way I don't get like just completely OP super early on. I don't know how many of the quests I'll do, but I'll uh, at the very least try to get access to graces and stuff. Not seeing you. Name's Bernal. It's John Bernthal. Just, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of Grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Yes. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. So he sells some ashes of war. Um, I may try out some of those later. A myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. Yeah. Float in your boat. Well, there's no room. All right. We can get the Golden Vow Ash of War pretty well near here. Limgrave has a lot of the, like, different cliff sides here, and I always get confused on which one takes me where. This is the guy that has Golden Vow right here. Golden Vow is a very, very good Ash of War. It's one of the best in the early game. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? There's also the physic thing around here somewhere, too. I don't remember exactly where it is. It's over here somewhere on a cliffside. Doing good? Ready for that DLC? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, okay, I'm not ready uh, in terms of, like, my character's progression. <laughs> I'm pretty sure on my Xbox, I actually still have my original save file. But I wanted to do a casual playthrough because on my... my So my casual playthrough, like my first playthrough of Elden Ring, is actually on my archive channel, buried amongst a lot of other content. Oh, there's a scarab up here. I want to see what that is. Um, it's buried amongst a lot of other content, and I want I want a casual playthrough of Elden Ring without like it being a challenge run or anything on my VOD channel, and I don't want to just like I don't want to just copy and paste that one over to this channel. I want to do a new playthrough, so. And these slugs are setting this place on fire. Jesus Christ. About to be fire, yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to enjoy like I I speed run primarily, so I I have not just genuinely taken the time to enjoy this game casually in 2 years. So 
it's definitely uh, I'm I'm long overdue for a casual playthrough of the game. I'm probably gonna try to do a couple of challenge runs as well. Shield, huh? Oh, I completely forgot. I'm not, uh, I don't have square off anymore. <laughs> I was thinking this sword was also square off. I think some of the, the great swords do have square off on it, but unfortunately that was not uh that was not ideal. What what is the ash of war on this one? Stamp. Alright, so there's Yeah, okay. Alright. What the heck was that? The heck was that noise? I don't think I've ever heard that sound in my life. Oh, it might have been this guy aggroing. He might have been alerting his boys. Okay. Bad dog. Sound didn't come from Elden Ring? I think it did. I don't know, though. Now now I'm questioning all of my life choices. Yeah, no, no, no. It's definitely coming from the game. Damp is actually probably a good way to deal with these dogs. They like to stagger and then freaking run away, so. I actually don't know what that bell sound like is. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, these dogs are trolling, dude. Trolling me, dude. I'm being trolled. It's happening. Okay, what the hell, dude? Dude, these dogs are really annoying the hell out of me right now. Jesus. Oh, wait. Good God. Right, I'm done with this. I'm done. We're getting out of here. No. Okay. All right. Thank God.
I know that this dungeon over here is where you get the Uchi. Hello? Can you hear me? Right, hold on, let's... Me. I'm stuck. Hello? We're gonna help him in a second. I need this, though. I need this. I need this. Okay, I'm gonna help you here in a minute. Hello? Hello? I'm stuck. Hello? I'm coming, buddy. Hello? Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. Ah, please. Can you help me out of this? Sure. Oh, thanks. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. How did he, how did he even Give get into the situation? I, I don't even understand. How, do, how, do, how does this happen? How, do, how does one find themselves stuck ass first in a fucking ditch? Like, and the thing is, I don't even know how this ditch got here, okay? It, like, it, I, I don't understand it. Well played, Chris. Oh, I don't even understand it. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. Ah, well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. Try to reverse poop and it created a vacuum? I mean, maybe. I'd like you to have this. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist, Alexander, in fact. Iron Fist, I Jesus Christ. To the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Kalid Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. Ooh. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? Yeah, oh, gosh. <laughs> Feel it right at the teat. I'm a red main I've heard that. Alright. Let's go. I did I miss I think I missed the strength flask uh thing over here somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is, but I think it was back over here somewhere. climbing that though okay i'll i'll come back for it. i'll go back to the storm hill shack later i think it might actually be before you get golden vow but i could be wrong i'm gonna turn the voice volume up again A customer. My hero's a customer? Ah, I mean, I could be. You know? Alright, I might, I might be willing to make a purchase. I will grab a short sword, sure. Some smithing stones? Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, I must have, I'm afraid of very little. Right, you're fine. You're fine. Don't even don't even worry about it, dude. All right. All right. I believe there's some Trina's lilies over here somewhere to make sleep arrows and the like. Yeah, here we go. Now, there is a spot that makes it safer to drop down over here. I think it's this corner. 
Might be this corner. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I think it's this one. I'm going to take a little bit of damage. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's loot the graveyard. This cookbook is huge. It gives you the uh, sleep potions, if I'm not mistaken. Sleep potions or sleep arrows, I don't remember. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great... Ah, you've come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... That's going pretty well, Shelly. How are that's you? That's very kind, but... Um... No, the help is very much This guy's an asshole, by the way. Even from a tarnished. Despite he doesn't like tarnish. Nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me, Kenneth Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave, young tarnished. I would have a boon of you. I don't think he likes tarnish very much. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool and plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. What are you waiting for? A kiss goodbye? I am. My fort lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. Take it back for me. Oh, I see. You wish to know the reward. Fret not. Feeling a bit rough. The 50 streak is looking good. Goddamn no right, it's looking good. I appreciate gorgeous. that. Enjoy the bonus. The celebrations will be lavish indeed upon the dawn of my fort's retrieval. Hmm, yes, now allow me to furnish you with a little advice. I would take great care to avoid Godric's tarnished hunts were I in your shoes. That depraved lot are obsessed with sacrificing tarnished like you for the sake of grafting. Ugh. Honestly, Godric's Gross. nothing more than a jumped up country bumpkin. Lord? Don't make me laugh. First, he hid himself amongst the women folk to flee the capital, then hid from Radan in that castle. Then he insulted Melania, lost to her in battle, only to lick her boots rather than die like a man. Ah! Oh. Has he no shame? The big girl's blouse. And to think, he's the blood of Godfrey, last of the golden lineage. Though you almost wouldn't know it to look at him. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking weirdo, though. The chap, the more I think of it. What are you waiting? My fort all right, lies all right, to that's all of it there. Okay, let's go to the where the physic flask is. Remember, there's an item under this bridge, right? Yeah, I don't think it's particularly significant. Magic grease. Okay. All right, we'll grab our physic flask, all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. Flask of Wondrous Physic. Me. I'm searching for my purpose, given to me by my mother inside the Erd Tree. Long ago, 
For the reason that I yet live. Burned and bodiless. There is something for which I must apologize. I've acted the finger maiden, yet can offer no guidance. I am no maiden. My purpose was long ago lost. Well, damn. Spoken echoes linger here. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish. In Marika's own words. You. Sure. Very well. In Marika's own words, my lord and thy warriors, I divest each of thee of thy grace. With thine eyes dimmed, ye will be driven from the lands between. Ye will wage war in a land afar. This is where she where ye will banished the tarnished. And die. Well, perhaps that might serve you in lieu of a maiden's guidance. For any for anybody that cares about the Lord, this is where she divested the tarnished of thy grace and sent them away. But she had won all of her battles and had no more need of the tarnished. Until, that is, right, until the shattering. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're needed again. I think that's like the grand dilemma of this game is like, America kind of used Godfrey and his army But at the same time, you could argue that it was kind of always their destiny to take over the lands between. And it was all part of, you know, a greater scheme to get. Things done, so to speak. what I'll do here since I'm already here and it would make more sense to just go ahead and grab because I believe that there's a I believe that there's a uh, a grace down here so I would rather grab that so I don't have to go down this well again because you know it only takes like two minutes to get to the bottom God, I'm so dumb, dude. Why did I do that to myself? I, what, I, I was bored, okay? Like, I, what am I gonna do? Just sit there and wait for five years to get the freaking elevator? Good lord. Uh. No, that, that's, that's what they want you to do. They want you to... No, what they want you to do is they want you to, to be breathless by the amazing view. You to be so taken aback by it. All right, I, in the interest of not waiting five years for this freaking elevator, <laughs> they want you to get bored and do exactly what you did in Fall to Your Death. I mean, I, maybe, maybe. I mean, at this point, at this point, who knows? All right, well, while we're waiting for the elevator, I can go, I can go to the ruins over here. 
There's a talisman at the ruins that I want. I believe the ruins are this way. here somewhere. I could have sworn it was it was due west of the uh, minor Erd tree, but Could be wrong, could be wrong. This right here? Right, we're not doing that thing again. We're not doing it. We're going to get down there peacefully. I'm not going to actually progress in this area. This part of the uh, river well is not connected to a rune boss, so I don't know if I would consider this part of like the region lock, but even so, I probably won't actually do this section until I'm ready to go kill Moog and all that. It's a pretty high level area, so I just want the grace, that's all. Go travel back here. I'm gonna have to take that elevator back again. All right, approximately this way, I think. Yeah. Oops. Somewhere in this general direction. Be nice if the markers that you put on the map would actually show in the direction that you're heading on the compass. I do like that that FromSoft goes for like more minimalistic UI, but I do think it would make tracking markers quite a bit easier without having to constantly break that immersion to go into the map. Should be almost directly south from here. Yeah, here it is. There's Trina's lilies here too. Also, there's a bunch of like mushrooms and stuff too. Oops, smithing stones. Yeah, yeah, I know you can set markers. It's just that it doesn't it doesn't show the marker on your compass, I don't think. Oh, I guess it does. I guess it does, but it's not until you get closer to it. Cuz it was definitely not on my map when I left from the grace. 
That's kind of weird. Because, yeah, now it's showing, but it was not showing before. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about the blue beacon markers. Yeah, I guess you could do those. Oh, I don't remember what button yeah, that is. Right uh, this way. Right this way. Let me see here. Beacon, beacon, that's what it is, not marker. Okay. Welcome, you please. I'm beacon. Anyway. Um, do you have anything that I actually want? Yes, you have smithing stones. Book books. I kind of want those Trina's lilies as well. I don't think I'm gonna get 3,000 though. There's a graveyard over here, isn't there? Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought that there was, I thought there was a graveyard over here. I know that there's a, a grace that I can grab. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I was gonna say. Oh, that's the alpha. Oh, that's the alpha. Should be good. Now let's head into the fort. There's a golden seed here among a couple of other items. Oh, no. 
right, there's a cookbook in here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. They're going to block me in. Oh my god. Oh! Darn. Yeah, a few too many mobs there, unfortunately. It's okay. Oh no, not again! Mm. <sighs> Those blood roses are like, I, I want to grab them because it's how you make bleed grease later. So I don't want to just, I don't want to just like sprint through this. But I'm admittedly quite rusty in this game, so it's going to take me a little bit to stop getting stuck on random shit. I also have not leveled up at all, so... And also, running through naked is kind of, uh... Kind of asking for trouble, so... Alright, I'm fucking... Getting through this shit. He's going to climb. That's fine. We have a technique for this, okay? Let's watch. Fucking rats, man. Jesus Christ. All right, we're going to fight him without the interference of rats. He actually has a fairly decent Ash of War that he drops. I think it's Bloody Slash, if I'm not mistaken. Bloody Slash, Giga Gaming. There's a couple other items down there, so don't mind taking a quick detour to grab a few things. Oh, 
Okay, that was bullshit. <laughs> I don't think there's any other items over this way. Where's he chucking stuff from? Oh, I see. Okay. All right, well, I'm ready to leave, so. As soon as it lets me leave, I'm trying to fast travel out of here, Chief. I think we're out of combat now. Yeah. Good. Okay, um... Where do I want to go? There's a couple things up here. Nothing particularly huge. But we can also go this way. Let's go to the shack. I want to mix my physical flex. Probably go ahead and take care of Margit now. Probably okay to do that. Foul tarnished. tarnished in search of the Elden Ring. Of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Got giga jumps, dude. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Let it be Margit the Fell. not to fight him on the edge. not upgrade this weapon, so... Well, thou art of passing skill. 
Warrior blood was truly my Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to equip the talisman. I forgot to put the, the talisman on that I got. That probably would have helped a little bit. Just a just a wee bit. I'm not sure if I want to stick with this weapon long term at all. So let me see here. Yeah, let's let's do the the axe talisman. And I think with that and the physic, we should be able to do some pretty good damage here. Dude, the reach of those attacks really sucks. This person who played Elden Ring when it first came out, I'm about to come back to it for the DLC. Are there any crazy notable changes I need to know about? Um, I mean, they haven't like gone nuts on like changing the core mechanics of the game, but a lot of the spells and stuff and, and Ashes of War have been rebalanced as like super OP stuff has been discovered. decent damage but i'm not trying to hit like a wet noodle so i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go uh make a, a couple of quick changes here also i think i can go to the round table now yeah forgive me i've been testing you to see oh, you, is that right or not grace truly does guide you and whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, gathering place of tarnished champions. Tarnished champions. By grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Lick my hand. Be cool if NG plus would reflect your ending choice and plague ending would lead more rotten plague enemies. 
Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see that being something of value, but I don't think this game quite exists in, in like, cycles. Like it does in other games. But it would be cool to maybe see them, like, go for that sort of, uh... That sort of thing in a future IP. That'd be something that would really be awesome in, like, a Dark Souls-type game. What do you want? No bell bearings, a sedge. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations, the strength granted us by the two fingers, and explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. I see it. I do. I do. Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? No. Um, yeah, no, I think we're... May the golden order shine through you. I think we're good for now, dude. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm... Well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. I'll see what I can do. Be sure to tell me if she's a servant to my. She's been my. I've lost count of them. Honestly. Be sure to tell. She's a servant to my house. Roger's not here yet. So. All right. There's not too much to do in the round table the first time you go. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. There's nothing left to say. Okay. You, if you say so. Yeah, not not too much to do, but there's some people to talk to. Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Let's get smithing. Oh. I see you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. I'm trapped by the hold. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. <laughs> That's all there is to it. No, don't read too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, get the get weapons smithing. get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget the sheer terror of her. Yeah, I think I might go ahead and upgrade this sword. Back already, no matter. But there's more to, there's like a lot more to do in Limgrave, so. 
Greetings, great champion called by grace. Allow me to I hold you. Fear. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor. You remember when this game came out and every, everybody was like, Doing don't. So grant me the warmth of they were like, don't. And you. Uh, be sure held by Fia, the waifu at the round table blessing. hold. She takes do your you health. Vulgar, don't do perhaps. it. And then Where nobody realized from, that the Baldekin's blessing is, is actually like a pretty decent item that you get in exchange for it. <laughs> My thanks, great champion. I mean, it does suck that it, that you give her some of your health, but. You are. Very warm. Oh! She takes like five health. It ain't even that big of a deal. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me. Should you require another, I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Okay, mommy. Pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still a flame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held regardless? Yes, mommy. Now, come closer. I think I think you have to talk to her again to get the talk dialogue to like get the, the secret stuff. The lore, you know? You are so very warm. Talk in secret. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so, is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this as often as it takes. Then good day to you, my dear. Oh, okay, mommy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, I think that's about all for now. I don't have a stone sword. Key, I don't think. Oh, maybe I do. Hold on. I have one. But there are there are two in total that you can use here. I guess we can go ahead and open this one. That's fine. But yeah, there's another one right there. This is just a crossbow, if I'm not mistaken. The black key crossbow. Very long range. Okay. Okay, I think that's that's everything there for now. Um cool. Well let's go to like Southern Limgrave and start working on that. I think that would be good. I didn't talk to Varya. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. Yes, I did. And off you trotted to the round table hold. 
My sincerest congratulations. But how did you find the round table? Oh, you don't have to say it. Before, the round table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now, it's home to puff chests and has beams. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. <laughs> I'll fly straight and true. Giga chat answer right here. Ah, then you're interested. <laughs> a wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great rune and request audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind, the tarnished. Hmm. Yes. Pay them a visit so that you may see for yourself. Challenge Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, to acquire a great rune. Decrepit he may be, but a demigod he remains. And of course, an inheritor of a great rune. Worse yet, I hear old Godric's acquired a ferocious new toy to graft. So, prepare for the worst. A new toy, huh? What's the matter? Aren't you supposed to be earning? Then you must face. For okay, the, the, the Lord. What's the? Aren't you supposed? Then you must. It's not my fault that they've structured this game in a way where you got to talk to an to an NPC twelve times in order to get all the dialogue exhausted, you know. And then you don't know when they're done. I don't know if this. Can I? Jump off from here. Yeah, that's good. The gold pickled foul foot. That gives us extra runes. All right, let's go back to the first step. Don't need anything else down there for now, so. Start heading east. With the purpose of ultimately making our way into Southern Limgrave. I'm not going to worry about killing the dragon just yet. Probably pretty soon, though. Where's that? Uh, there's a hole in the ground that's got some smithing stones next to it. I think it's over here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. A smithing stone, excuse me. Singular. All right, now there are two. There are two different things here. This one, I believe, is a twin glaive. Yeah. The other one is what takes you to Caelid, so I wanted to grab that just to have some options, you know. I'm not sure if this dude drops anything. Leave me alone. Oh, God. Oh, wait, there's three of them? Jesus. I realized there were three of them. Come on. Oh, come on now.
Did he? He had no idea. He had no idea I was even there. Can't even be bothered by it. Nice ragdoll. Amazing. All right. Anyway, dragon burnt ruins, all that good stuff. We need to go south. Yeah, south. I think I want to get the. like castle thing down there taken care of because there is a talisman in there that is actually quite good here too I don't think I want to go across the bridge to get there at first though and the main reason for that is that it's kind of toxic not gonna lie There's a spot down here where you can actually like, just like jump across. It is substantially easier to get over there. And then on top of that, there's a bunch of stuff pretty close to that that is actually useful. So. I want to say it's down here. There's like a, a slightly lower edge that we can descend onto. Yep. And then from there, we're going to take this. And then we can actually make this jump. And over here is... I think this is the Faith? Yeah, Faith Crystal Tier. And then there's also the Flask. There's a, a few Flask upgrades here, actually. I'm going to say there's three. This is like the juicy part of Limgrave right here is when you go to the far side and you start picking up all the items over here. A lot of flask upgrade stuff. America's own words. Let's see what's in America's own words right here, chat. Let's see. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika. Shall I share them? Yes. In America's own words. Then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. I want to say there's a, an item over here somewhere. I don't entirely remember the significance of it. Thought I remember it being decent. I don't remember what it is, though.
Maybe not. I could have sworn that there's like a cliffside here with an item hanging off of a corpse or something. It might be further down. I could have sworn there was something over here, but maybe not. Maybe not. In any case... You're gonna go... To the next... Uh... Freaking church. Guess not. I guess we can... I'll probably dupe some of the remembrances, so... I want to say, actually, that the best way of getting to that other church is to go around this way. But you can't climb up the side where the octopus thing is. We need to go this way. Shadow of the Colossus, is that you? It's, it's me. I'm going to explore some of the underground areas here, like in the ruins and stuff later. Oh, boy. Oh, dang it. It's only 600 runes. Not a big deal. Although, I have to admit, uh, we've died a few more times than I would care to admit already in this run. But, hey, we're just playing casually. We got, we got no place to be right now, okay? We got no place to be. it's south and I think we have to climb the side of the cliff here I'm pretty sure yeah I think it's this way now I think we keep going this way Oops. Yeah, this is it right here. There's a dark rider dude that patrols this road as well.
Buying or selling? Buying or selling? Well, I don't know. Depends on what you got, dude. Is a golden seed over here. Oh. Grab the uh, the other upgrade. Uh, sorry to come by much. How long have you programmed? Went back to school in 2017. Graduated in 2020 for computer science. Been working my corporate job as a developer for about two years. Uh, so I have not worked in a professional capacity per se as a programmer, but I did go to school for it back in. Let's see, when did I go back to school? I graduated in 2019. I had initially went to school for music, specifically like audio engineering. And I dropped out of that, changed majors when I went back to school, got a degree in game design, graduated in 2019. And then at the time I was actually working for Microsoft in sales. And I wasn't sure if I would try to look for potentially like a developer role after graduating and I was already pretty deep into a combination of like sales as well as like streaming and eventually following the path of being a sort of the equivalent of like a community manager but on more of a localized scale for Microsoft at that time. So I never actually went into the programming side of things professionally but I have made some tools for speed running with my knowledge of Python. So I made the UST, which is a save manager that pretty much works with any game that uses like hard-coded save files, including Elden Ring, actually. So yeah, there's a, there's a handful of things that I've done just as like passion projects, not really like in a professional capacity, but. I decided after I graduated, like I said, to kind of stay on the path that I was on. And it was more, as I'm sure most people can probably understand, it was more about getting the degree than it was about like what the degree was actually in. So Microsoft was willing to pay for a computer science degree. So I decided to go into that. But yeah, I mean, I just still, I just still program stuff every once in a while. I'd like to get back into game dev. It's just, I don't really have the time for it because all of my time is currently consumed by my stream, so. <laughs> well, streaming, streaming and also parenting and all that good stuff. Right, we're gonna head down to this uh, castle here. Got two young boys myself, nice. Yeah, I've got a son and a daughter. My son is in first grade. My daughter will be in preschool next year. Time passes quite quickly after becoming a parent, as I have realized. I'll be 30 this year, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a tough pill to swallow. I think. Came up faster than I expected.
I want to get a different weapon. I was going to stick with this one for a while, but not so sure now. Ah! Yeah, I think I want the talisman that's in here. Grab all the other items first, though. They started fighting each other, and I just... I took advantage of the opportunity. What can I say? Oh, boy. actually there's actually an item here Grab the grace. May as well snag a level while we're here. I get 20 vigor, I think. 20 would be good. Oh no. That was not what I had in mind. Talisman that I'm looking for should be up here. I think it's the jump attack talisman, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's this one. One blade talisman, let me see. Oh, no, no, no. Chain attack. Chain attack. Never mind. This is not the talisman that I wanted. That's okay, though. That's okay. Not a big deal.
Well, that was great. He's just, you know, he's just waiting for me. It's cool. That's cool, man. All right. Well, that, that's fine because it gives me an opportunity to go through the ceiling of this thing again. Because I believe that there's an item on one of the rafters in here, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe not. Never mind. I'm thinking of somewhere else. We need to jump onto the rooftop over here. This is the one I think the items on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one I was thinking about. I forgot there were two of these here. See an item in that far corner there. Let's see what I can do there. Oh! Oh no. Oh no! That was a close one. This boss is a misbegotten warrior, if I am not mistaken. Is there an item over here? I don't think so. No. Darn. The good news is he doesn't have a ton of health. Where's, it, where, where's he going? Where's he going? He wasn't having any of it, dude. Forget if he drops a weapon or not. I think he does.
Yeah. No! Darn. I was out of range. That probably would have stunned him, too. My weapon's just not doing enough damage. I need to upgrade something. I'm just not sure if I want to commit to this weapon. I guess fairly soon I'll be able to get the bell bearing that allows me to just buy the smithing stones. So it's not like it's that big of a deal, but... This is the one right here. So fun, man. here. Nice. Don't forget the jump attacks, y'all. Oh, yeah, the grafted blade greatsword. That's, that, that's a good one right there. Colossal sword. I need 40 strength for that. That's kind, of, that's kind of a lot, not gonna lie. Look at this thing though. Oh my God. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta rock this dude. If we're gonna, if we're gonna rock a great sword, we gotta get the Giga, the Giga great sword, right? I need 14 decks. And in order to power stance it, I'm gonna need like 20 something strength. Cool. Uh, where do we want to go next? I feel pretty good about what I've done over here. I should go get that strength physic thing. That is going to be back at the storm shack.
can't remember exactly which side it's on. I want to say it's like due east. Also, this would be huge right here. Grab all these runes. Say it's. I'm gonna say it's around here somewhere. Don't quite remember exactly where. It might be down this way. Come here, buddy. Need your help with something. Need your help, Chief. Thank you. Oh, wait, what? Hey, do the thing. Oh, there we go. What build am I gonna go with when the DLC drops? Um, so I'm gonna primarily just kind of experiment with whatever weapons I get my hands on. Oh no! I hit the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> because I'm, I'm probably gonna use maybe Bloodhound's Fang, which is like the speedrun weapon, just to start. But I don't think I'm going to stick with that beyond just like, you know, basically until I get a weapon in the DLC. I want to I want to try out the DLC weapons. So I gotta go get that crystal tear. Keep forgetting it. It's time. It's 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 time. Time to get that. Don't remember exactly where it is, but we'll find it. It's on one of these cliff sides. I don't think it's this far. I could have sworn it's like kind of near this camp.
can't seem to remember which one it is. I recall leaving out of the Stormhill shack. And going somewhere. I just don't quite remember which cliff it's on. Oh, here it is. Found it. Very good. All right, leave and do. Have a like a small rune. Do have their own rune level. I hope they don't mess with it as roguelike content. I don't think it's gonna be roguelike, but I, I don't think it's gonna be its own rune level per se. But the weapon scaling is different, and the upgrade path is more like Sekiro. So. Even if you bring a plus ten somber weapon in, the scaling will be done in such a way that you're not going to do I, I want to say you'll do more damage potentially as opposed to a plus zero weapon I want to say you might still do a little more damage I could be wrong um, but the way that you'll actually deal more damage in the DLC is going to be from the upgrade items you get by killing bosses So this sword, I would need, I need like 27 strength, which I guess if I use the, the flask, I probably would have enough damage. my physic real quick. Oops. So yeah, if I drink the flask, I should be able to power stance it. table. I, don't, I think this might be a somber weapon. Well, I took you no matter to lay out your own. Yeah, it is. Don't have a somber two yet, so to deal with that for now, but it'd be good. All right. Uh, I think I technically liberated that fort, so I might be able to talk to Height and get the seed from him. If not, then we're going to kill him. I'm only going to switch to this weapon when I'm actually on a boss. I'm going to still use this one for now, I think. For you with bated breath. Did you manage to recapture my fort? I did. Or 
excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. What? Right then. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the demi-humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd Tree, co-mingling with the demi-humans is made possible. Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Yeah, okay. Say so. Ah, yeah. Would you like to enter my service? What? I see bright things in your future. Enter your South service? Warrior. What? Enter into my service. And yeah, I don't know about all that. Things of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. I got the grace what of gold. Say you? A fine accord, is it not? Yes. Very well, very well. I've never done this quest. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Right then. Time for I've much to do. Okay. 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 Let's go to, hmm, where do we want to go? We have options. We have options. We could try to go take care of Margaret at this point, I suppose. Could maybe try it with our, our newfound weapon. The damage on this is really good. I like it. Also, the Ash of War on it is pretty sick, too. Stat raise attribute situation is rather nice, I would say.
he should he should be uh him down right here there we go nice <laughs> this sword is sick This weapon is not upgraded at all, so I'm not doing crazy damage, but once we get into Liernia, we'll be able to take it up to at least plus four. So, be pretty good. Come over here, would you? You, you, you're you <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Mm -mm. Main gate. Fair enough. You certainly don't have to trust me. Well, if you must go through the gates, I'll signal them to open. But of course, I'd advise against it. The gates. Go grab the Grace over here. Okay. Yo, take it easy, Leon. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's heavily guarded, all right. Grab the grace right here. A good one to get in general for exploring this area later. Fine warrior. Oh! Oh! 
Okay, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. like these hook, claw, hawk enemies. They're quite annoying. If I do say so myself, they're probably like the most annoying enemy in the entire game. Oh, come on. Load of garbage. Yeah, I'm genuinely curious to see, like, how the speedrun's going to take root in the expansion because with, like, the new progression system and whatnot, like, it's obviously not going to make sense to, to play very much of the base game at all when getting into the DLC. But, like, you're still going to have to progress at the very least up until Moog, which you can you can get to Moog fairly early if you do the Kale quest line. You still have to get the Dectus plates. <clears throat> you still have to get the Dectus plates and go to Altus and fight an NPC there, but it's a pretty easy... It's a pretty easy quest for the most part. grab more of the items that are here in the key in the castle later but for now i just want to get hopefully through with these fights sooner than later hey it's norris what's up buddy truest of dragons Mighty dragon, thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Cast your driver's license test? Hell yeah. Well. to level strength up enough to the point where I'm not dependent.
on uh, too many things here. is actually a pretty fun weapon. One tap, chief. Of all one shot, man. And one day we'll return together to our home, bathed in rays of gold. The great rune. Godric's great rune is kind of a sick great rune. Literally, best rune in the game off of the easiest rune bearing boss in the game. Kind of crazy. Okay, let's do 27 strength for power stints. And we'll pump vigor now. This sword is actually pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Having fun with it so far. All right, let's go Limgrave Tower Bridge and we'll go ahead and activate this great rune so that way we can take advantage of it. Uh, if we need it. We probably won't need it, honestly, but we're going to activate all of the great runes anyway. I do wish that they would have made the great runes more, uh, more than just, like, basically stat increases. I wish that they would add, like, different effects to, like, how your weapons work and stuff like that. would have been really cool. Like, to basically change your fighting style. Like, you put on a great rune and your attack speed increases by 20% or something. Or you put on a great rune and... You can... I don't know, freaking... Cancel a committed attack and dodge roll or something you know what i mean like like uh, it would it would have been nice if the great runes like actually did more than just stats it'd be it'd be sick if the great runes would have like made fighting styles change or for like the great runes themselves to actually give you like some sort of a a move set for the boss that you uh 
that you kill to get it, right? So, like, maybe with Melania or something, you get one of her potential, like, moveset things. Not necessarily specific to her weapon, but, like, maybe maybe you heal on, dam you know, when you damage uh, enemies. Maybe not to the same level of OP that she gets, but... Although I, I do feel like for Melania, an attack speed increase would be a really cool, uh... It would be a really cool bonus, since she's pretty fast anyway. Okay, cool. Well, we got that taken care of. Alright, so we are no longer region locked to Limgrave. We can go anywhere now. And I, I do think I'm going to take a little bit more of a traditional route in this playthrough. So I am going to go to Lyernia next. Technically, we could go to Kaled if we wanted to and kill Radon, but I think I'm going to go a little bit more traditional with it this time. So I would also like to, like, you know, actually upgrade my weapons. So I'm going to go to Godric's boss room. Pop into Lyernia. So that I can actually do some of the upgrades and stuff. What a pathetic excuse for a lord you were. Damn. <laughs> Craven to the bone. Stepping on his fucking head, Pushing dude. me about like that. And after all that grafting, where did that get you? Look down on me, would ya? Godric, you filthy slug. Fuck, dude. Feel it. Feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. Walk, man. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. He takes a break from stomping on his head. This weasel was... Godric was always looking down on me. He got what he bloody deserved thanks to you. I tell you, though, what goes around comes around. He had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, what does he have? Item discovery. He doesn't really have anything worth buying, honestly. All right, I'm going to get to Lyernia real quick, and then I'm actually going to take a short break. I'm getting a little hungry, and I got some leftover burgers from yesterday. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to eat that burger, dude. I think you can still do the Nefeli quests. Even if you didn't talk to her before. I am definitely going to miss some quests. No doubt. No matter what happens, you know. I remember there being a Shabriri right here. Yeah. the devil <laughs> i was just getting i was just i was just getting ready to no come no i want it no i was just saying i was just getting ready to take a break to go heat up my burger then you brought one down thank you i love you why are you mad at me well, well thank you for the the burger it was not made with love okay my fiance said that she's mad at me. I think it's because of the comforter incident last night. I told her that I would I would put the comforter in the dryer, which I did. I did do. I did do it. <laughs> and uh it wasn't dry at like two 
2 a.m. or whenever it was that I went to bed. And I was going to bed, so. I put it in for another dry cycle and I went to sleep. I told you I'd take care of it, but you went down, you came downstairs anyway. All right, it's okay. She was cold last night. <laughs> All right, we are in Liurnia, which means I can no longer... So, I'm, I'm allowed to go back to Limgrave, but I'm, I'm not going to go to another area until... after we defeat Renala. I'm going to be here for a little bit. Donate 10... Sure, you can have 10 rooms. Well, bless you. Bless you. You are... My name is Topes. Topes. Presuming you're interested... I can teach you sorceries, as promised, only none of them are particularly great. Mm hmm Stone Pebble's a great sorcery. What are you talking about? Yes, I know about the Fia debuff. Like 5% of your health is not that big of a deal. Apologies, friend. I'm afraid my meager sorceries are no match for your generosity. Oh, right. I can tell you what I know about this place. That should help a bit. You've seen that structure to the north, towering over the water. That's the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, where we study glintstone sorceries. Only its doors have been closed for quite some time now. After they declared they wouldn't interfere with the shattering. The Academy cast repelling seals on the East Gate leading to the capital, and the South Gate leading here. As you might have guessed, the seals are still active, making entry to the Academy impossible without a glintstone key. And so I'm stuck here. A fledgling sorcerer with little chance of acquiring a key. When they cast the seals, I'd just popped out. And now I'm uprooted from my place of He was learning. just going out to take a piss. Why not find yourself a glintstone key? Without one, you can't pass through the academy. And you'll never reach the Erdtree capital. And if you find an extra glintstone key, perhaps, once you've tied up all your loose ends, and I can be very patient, would you consider donating it to me? I know it. I'm a blunt stone. Nary a hint of talent for sorcery. But still. Oh, no, don't be so hard on yourself, Tops. 2,500. As long as I can get 2,000 runes, we should be good. There's 1,200. Close enough. Should get more than enough off of this one. 800, I think. Why, of course. There is a spell book over here. I think it's this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like the Elden Ring lore as well. Find myself watching some Vati video from time to time. Oh god. I thought there was a chest over here. Uh, no, it's just a, it's a meme, Amber. It's a meme on the uh, on Seven TV. Most streamers have it on. Myself being one of them. Ah, 
Hawk Ring. Amazing, amazing game. I need to actually equip that great room. Your new surprised you for no matter, no matter. Why don't you help? Oh, don't ask. Alright, I want to Hmm. That's right, he's got a bunch of stones. I'm probably going to go the somber route, but... In the meantime, I think I will go for something else. Okay, now... I need 1,500. I don't care about magic grease at all. Turtleneck. I'm not going to use that either. Oops. There's a lot of um, smithing stones just like laying around these ruins. Just totally free. That was all of them. Ooh, we should go get Ice Rind Hatchet. It's right over here. 
I shrine hatchet's a pretty good weapon. Although it has been substantially nerfed. Substantially. Side here and Haha, bye bye. See you later, Chief. Is there any bow that I have the stats to use right now? There's all those freaking things I can shoot over here. Which kind of sucks if I can't. Uh, use any kind of sort of like ranged weapon on them. Not a big deal though. I'll come back later. Quite a few runes, though. There's actually a pretty cool sword over here that you can get from, there's like a caravan that's running around. And if you get the caravan to stop, you can loot the chest. I don't, I don't think you can Get it while the cart is moving, but I could be wrong. Now, this is the real worst enemy in the game right here. The giant fucking lobsters, dude. Horrible. A shit stain on this game. This one. You must solve the puzzle. Is this the imp one? Three wise beasts. Oh, it's the turtle. That's right. There's one there. I believe there's one in like a puddle or something over here. And there's also one like on the cliff side. Yeah, there's one. I don't have a ranged attack. Oh, it works if you just hit the tree. Nice. There was one on the side of the cliff too. Maybe it's the, there's, now there might be one in a bush actually. I'm trying to remember.
trying to remember where the where the turtle is. I think one of them. There, I, I'm pretty sure there's three, three different, uh, like variants of this tower puzzle at, at obviously three different locations. One of them's got a giga turtle hanging off the side of the cliff, but I don't think it's this one. I think that's the one that's up at the dark moon tower. One of them has one hiding in a puddle, but it's invisible. So you would have no idea that it was there if not for, you know, just memeing around. I don't think that's this one though. I think that one is somewhere else. Trying to remember this one. I think this one is just hiding in a bush. I thought it was one of the bushes that's like right next to the tower. Could have sworn this one's in a bush. Where the fuck is this one? I could have sworn this one was in a bush. I thought the bush was closer. I'm gonna grab this grace. It's getting dark out, it might be easier to see it in the dark. Right. I was kind of right in remembering it, but uh, I was not anywhere near as close to the... actual tower as I thought. Difficult to see from above, yeah. Well, I think people also tend to look like right near the tower rather than like kind of on the far side of the island. I 
I think memory stones are actually for for casters at least are going to be one of the things that are kind of huge for the expansion because I'm like spell slots obviously are still going to be valuable. another gazebo over here too maybe not never mind never mind let's go talk to EG Meet up with EG. I don't know if these guys de aggro, so I'm going to go ahead and reset this. receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished? What brings you here? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Carian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am. Still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you'd like a display? These bones are old, but still able. You know, maybe I would. I don't have any money, though. Oh, watch out there. When I'm absorbed in my smithing, I lose sight of all else. If you come too close, I'm apt to cause you harm. I am, after all, terribly large compared to you, Tarnished. You don't know how hard it is not to break anything while I work. Brave Tarnished. A word of warning, if you please. This territory once belonged to the Carian royal family. Their manor lies not far beyond this point. When the Rhea Lucari Academy turned on the Carians, the Knights of the Cuckoo descended on this tract. After leveling it, they carried on to the manor. The Carians were taken off guard, but their strength had not waned, and they repelled the Knights' onslaught by conjuring an enchanted snare that remains potent to this day. That is why I say, Tarnished, don't go near the manor. It'll be fine. Lie with the corpses of the heedless knights of the cuckoo. It'll be fine. I've explained the peril of the enchanted snare. Whatever you do, brave tarnished, stay away from that death trap. I've explained the peril of the enchant. Oops. Or is there anything up here or not? Cemetery, yes.
It's been a long time since I've had any reason to even consider going out this way. Knights of the Cuckoo. Oh! Alright. It's alright. I need to make me another G Fuel here shortly, so um, I also finished my lunch, so I think what I am going to do is after I get up here to the manor, I'm going to take like a three minute break. Before we go crazy though, before we go crazy, I do want to run over here and grab, um, I think this is Horfrost Stomp's like independent Ash of War. Also, also, there's a trailhead right here that takes me down to a golden seed. I want that too. For DLC, this might be the fastest way to get to Altus. Since we don't need to do as much like crazy stuff during the setup. It might actually be faster to come down here rather than grabbing the Dectus plates. You can actually get to Altus early by doing this dungeon. There's so many ways to get to Altus. You can you can grab the deck displays, of course. You can do this dungeon. You can go in through Volcano Manor if you go um, through the abduction. And I believe if you do something in the Deep Root Depths, you can also teleport there too. There's, there's so many different ways. It's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't think I have an easy way. Eh, yeah, crap. All right. I, I am going to take that break. I'm going to take that break super soon. But before I forget about these things, I am going to grab... There's, there's quite a few things. There's the academy entrance, of course. There's a couple of graces as well. I'm basically going to go up to the lift of Dex uh, Dectus. And then there's also two sacred tears. I'm going to get all that before I take my break. Just so that way we're, we're done with the, uh, the grabbing of upgrade items for the time being. I still need to, to pick up some somber stuff, but... I don't know if I'm going to stick with this weapon for the entire playthrough. Although the stat increase on it is kind of crazy. Not going to lie. 
And a big. What do you need? I don't want any. Uh, first off, what do you sell? He's got a cookbook. He also has bewitching branches, which is. Those things are actually insane. Like, just actually insanely good. Um, tell you what, let me sell off some of these runes. We'll buy the cookbook and we'll buy the bewitching branches because those are really, really good later for when we go up into the mountaintops of the giants. All right, so one sacred tier right here. Uh, which way do I want to go first? I guess it doesn't really matter because we're just going to fast travel back. So I guess we can go do the Dectus side first. Grab the race up here before we head up the hill. I'll probably do Volcano Manor before I go to Altus. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to worry about the Madness Tower right now. I'm going to go get my runes back, though. We can... pick something up this way. Where's my runes, damn it?
FP Scarab. Bike spear is kind of insane. Hope I can make it here before he snuffs it out. Right, we should be good. Madness is so gross. The fact that it drains FP. The fact that it drains FP is just gross. Whenever you get afflicted. When we did the Elden Ring tournament last year, <laughs> We were all using the Vike Spear and Triple Rings of Light to just be super annoying. His spear is really good. Freaking tower in the distance is being mean. This weapon is so slow for him. I have to roll catch him or something. I guess what I could do. This probably doesn't matter right now because I don't have enough uh, health for it to really matter, I don't think, but at least put that up to plus seven. Be chilling. Again. Oh, no. 
Hi. Give me your spear, motherfucker. Yeah. Bikes war spears and sin. Madness buildup, which does absolutely nothing unless it is a freaking and or unless it's a uh, freaking PvP situation. But Vikes War Spear is great for PvP. It's an awesome PvP weapon. Pretty popular among the PvP scene. How much is a level for me right now? Forty-two hundred. Okay. Not horrible, I guess. Uh, okay. And then the last thing that I wanted to do before I take a short break here, and my break will be pretty short. I won't be gone more than a couple minutes, but um, I did want to at least get to the academy. I don't know if I'm going to just go ahead and... I don't know if I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take care of Renala while I'm here, or... If maybe it would be better to do a couple other things first. But I mean, honestly, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. Like there's plenty of spells and like other items and stuff that I can grab, but I'm under region lock right now as part of sort of my self-imposed casual playthrough situation. And the sooner we open up the map, the better, in my opinion. Because obviously we're going to go around and actually pick up some more items and stuff fairly soon. At the very least, I don't think I care too much about having like every single weapon and every single piece of armor, but I think at the very least, I would like to have pretty much all of the spells. I'd like to have pretty much all of the spells and I want all of the spell slots, of course. And I think I do want to get like all of the uh, all the talismans and um, physics stuff. Well, it's been a, how can I? Have a safe journey. Those lilies are pretty nice. I don't care too much for the fanged imp ashes, so I don't think I'm gonna worry about that right now. I'm not planning on doing uh, summons. I may still grab the Mimic tier just for memes. Because the Mimic tier is kind of insane. Oops. Right, yeah, let's go ahead and make our way up here. I don't... I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna down Renala just yet. But I'm probably not gonna sit on it too long either, because 
Altus has a lot of my other upgrade mats, but there are some quests that I don't want to accidentally lock myself out of. It's quite easy to do that in this game. And I'm pretty sure the vast majority of the quests, you don't start getting locked out until after you enter the capital, but... There's still a few things that... I want to tackle, so... Ah! Jesus. There's actually a, a nice somber stone over here behind this. Oh, God! Jesus Christ, over here. Somber three. There's quite a few somber twos that I've missed. Just due to a overall lack of exploration in Lyurnia so far. And that's one of the reasons why I don't want to just, like, go crazy charging ahead here. Because I know that there's a lot of things that I don't want to miss out on. And again, I can technically always come back, but where would be the fun in that? You know? Where would be the fun in that? I want to say there's an item over here. I might be wrong. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh! At the very least, I can go this way. Master Lord up here. He might actually drop. He might actually drop an item, but I could be wrong. Smacked his ass across the map, dude. God damn, yeah. Gravity well, hell yeah. as well, which is a really great armor set for this area, too. Got pretty solid defense all around. Oh, 
Might be worth going back to get that. supposed to I think I'm supposed to ride it back the other way this is where we used to drop down after getting the armor set you can ride the lift back up but I thought that there was maybe an item on the trail over here Let's go get the, uh, the carrion set. It's right over at that big gravestone over there. Not too far. Went on the north side of this when I ran through, so. In order to avoid getting completely wrecked by these dogs, I made the decision. Bye-bye. I ought to go back to Stormvale Castle. So I can grab the rest of the stuff. That's over there. There's a lot of good stuff. There's Golden Seed. Quite a few stones. And a couple of talismans, too. Alright, I am going to finish this uh, little schoolhouse area here and kill the Red Wolf of Radigan, and then I'm going to take my break. I think it's just the one. This is fun. They're like, wait, how the fuck did you get in here?
There's another... Oh, there's a ladder. That's right. Couldn't remember if it was another illusory wall or a ladder that takes you back behind this stuff. This is the coolest shit about this game is just like stumbling upon like random illusory shit and then finding something incredibly OP behind it. The Graven School Talisman is a really good term. There's a better one though. There's a greater one. I forget what you get it from though. close the last thing that i'm gonna grab oh, hold on let me get some levels in here last thing i'm gonna grab before this break let me go 20 finger that's good i'm gonna grab the radigan icon which is really close if we hang a right here one of the best caster talismans in the game one of the best, if not the best. I would say it's not the best only because of the fact that you can get the charms that just pump stats and like other, other just like raw damage things. But there is something particularly nice about opening a chest right here and getting a cast speed increase. Just chilling. Very big, very big. Big, big pog, as we like to say. Big pog. There's another item over here. I don't remember what it is, though. I think it's just like a crafting mat or something. Crystal bun. Cool. All right. Very quickly, chat. I'm just going to take like a three minute break. Just going to make another G Fuel, use the bathroom, and get my lunch dishes out of here. And we will keep going. Here we go.
All right, chat, I'm just about back. I'm just uh, mixing up my G Fuel as we speak. I've been going ham on my snow cone fuel for the last couple weeks. I'm actually almost out. But I have a ton of other flavors because they sent me some as part of the BOGO. Um, some of like their flavors that they wanted to promote on the BOGO. They sent me a bunch. So I have like four other tubs right now. I'm not going to place an order anytime soon, I don't think. But... <clears throat> Chilling with what I got right now, you know. All right, the Academy. So what I want to do in the Academy before, so I'm probably not going to defeat. What's her face, Renala, just yet? I think before I do that, I want to explore a little bit more of Liernia. Oh my god! Oh, I forgot that those guys snipe you from like across the map. Forgot about that. I'm gonna take a hot second here. Hot, hot second. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm too used to Dragon's Dogma, chat. I'm too used to uh, jumping up on a ledge and, it, and then I just climb, you know? I'm too used to it. to unlearn the dogma yeah now i had a i had a great time with dragon's dogma i i will definitely be playing it again someday for sure whether that's dlc or something i don't know but i had a lot of fun with it the only reason that I'm not playing it right now is just because I didn't really enjoy the speedrun idea that much. If the speedrun was, like, super cool and, like, had awesome boss fights and stuff, I totally would have. Totally would have stuck it out. Take care of these guys. Okay. It's crazy to me that in Raya Lucaria just not even just Raya Lucaria, but the, like, pretty much all of the boss areas in general. Pretty much all of them allow you to just run straight to the boss if you want to. But if you choose to explore, there is a hell of a lot to see. 
That's honestly the beauty of Elden Ring for me is the fact that like you really don't have to explore if you don't want to. But they they make it to where like, especially in your first playthrough, especially in your first playthrough, like you're you're missing out if you don't. And the, I I've always said this about Elden Ring. I do wish that they gave you more runes for exploring. I really do wish they gave you more runes when you explore. And what I mean by that primarily is that when you do side areas and stuff, you kill a boss and even in the end game, you kill a boss and you get like 12,000 runes or something just stupid. It's only when you go to an area that has like a great rune boss in it that you get a lot of runes. Like for example, Loretta, right? You kill Loretta right before Melania and you get, I think it's like 100 or 200,000 runes or something. It's quite a bit. Maybe it's 160. It's somewhere between one and 200,000. Um, but like you go to the, you go to um, the Carrion Manor and you defeat Loretta there and you get like 4,000 runes. Like just something so unbelievably stupid. But, like, obviously the weapons and stuff that you get are pretty insane. There's actually a cave that you can go into outside the academy that takes you into one of these towers over here, and it gives you Terra Magica, which is a uh, really really fucking good spell if you can stand in the ring but being able to stay in the ring without uh oh god without any sort of like spirit ash or anything like that is really hard There's another spot to here it is. I was gonna say there's another like little ledge to drop down onto. This is actually where we get the other glintstone key for Thops. That dude got wrecked, man. Imbued sword key, huge. Four Belfries. This ladder takes me somewhere that I'm pretty sure just has an item and then we have to climb back up. Number four, I will take it. Don't mind if I do. I love the academy, though. It's one of my favorite areas in the game. I just love the architecture. It reminds me a lot of Bloodborne, actually. Like the the style of everything, you know? Forget, can I climb back up here if I drop? I don't remember if I can. I think I have to go around. No crown is my favorite. Yeah, I like no crown a lot too. I don't think. I don't think I can get back up this way in particular. I think you have to go back inside the building when you drop down. 
So at that point, it's like you might as well. You might as well just go in through the rafters. Because the rafters is where we get the extra glintstone key. I believe it is this right here. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. Probably should drop this ladder before. Oh! Well, at least we dropped the ladder. <laughs> I know where that ladder goes into, but I don't know if I'm going to go in. Probably should, though. I probably should. I don't remember if there's an item over here or not. I don't think there is, but there's a trainer's, uh, trainer's lily. I'll take that. This is the, well, not the exact area, but it's close to where we would go. I kind of want to take this portal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the peachy strat here. I was really hoping we could get the the fun gravity strat there. We'll try it again. It happens pretty often as long as as long as the knight does not follow you onto the elevator. an item over here, right? Or no? Never mind. Could have sworn there was. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this part just yet. So a little bit more for us to explore at the academy. elevator down here.
Oh. Damn it. Darn. This is fine. This is fine. Right, let's just go this way. Highly recommended to take care of that archer there. 11 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, we can stop that now. How do I get over there? See that item over there, but I don't know how to get there. Oh, stop that, dude. You're in my way. Yeah, I don't remember how to get over there. Uh, I think it might be that. I don't fully remember how to get up there, though. <laughs> well, that's pretty satisfying. Right, you know what? Let's just drop down. This is fine. Another one of these uh, blue crabs here. Glintstone crab. Yeah, they do have Gatlin guns. It's kind of crazy. Right, I don't want to get bombarded by spells here, so... I need to go give the academy key to Thops before I go over in that hallway, if I recall correctly. All right, yeah, this ladder actually takes me back to like way earlier. Yeah, I should go. I should go give the academy key to Thops. Lake facing cliffs is probably the best spot. Take care of that. Back to learning that wonderful. Thank you for learning my I never imagined that a blunt stone. Oh, I'm a blunt stone. So I'm afraid I... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Are you certain you're willing to my you? Thank you. Now I can go to resume my <laughs> He loves it. Back to learn another Why, of course. I don't think his things increase here at all. I wanna say as soon as I rest here, he goes to the academy, but I could be wrong. Let me go rest and come back just to make sure. I guess I could quit out, but I'm not using the logo mod, the no logo mod, so quitting out is a little tedious. gone but it is no matter because we can go to the debate parlor is it debate parlor hold on debate parlor is no no, no. it's the, the cuckoo church of the cuckoo Ladders right here. Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> the gank, dude. The gank. Dude, this ladder is just like... This ladder is the biggest troll. Is how many enemies are nearby? Leave stops goes this way. No! Just strafe that shit. That was bad, dude. Lucarian rope. Oh, shit. I'd be looking like a scholar at the end of this.
All right, let's try this again. We got it this time, I'm confident. That's just unfortunate, you know? All right, I don't think a charge R2 is gonna work here. So, I'm gonna need to try something else. Key aggro. Ooh, the Lazuli Glintstone Sword. That's cool. I don't know if I've ever actually gotten that weapon before. Actually has Glintstone Pebble as an Ash of War. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. No, not again, dude. Come on, man. That fucking crossbow, dude. Brutal. Here we go again. Really not my plan here to be farming this for five hours. like to kill this now. No. He like becomes one with this fucking thing. I think maybe we have to meet him somewhere else first. I remember where he goes though.
You might have to defeat Renala first, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. Let me go to the south right, Lucaria Gate, real quick. It might be out here. Uh, nope. Never mind. Okay. Alright, well, we got other options. Want to grab the golden seed that's over here? It's this way, but I could be wrong. I thought it was on this side, but it might be deeper in the woods. Around here somewhere. There it is. Perfect. Way. There's a gazebo over here. Nice. Okay, there's a gazebo over here. I think this has some smithing stones on it. Could be wrong. Not all of the gazebos had them, but maybe maybe this one does not. Guess not. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab the graces over here. <clears throat> I believe there are two, maybe three. Right, here's one. Yay, poison. I want to say there's spirit ashes of some kind over here. Uh, somewhere. I think they're over there, actually, to the south. this poison at the shrine yeah, there should be should be spirit ashes over here not that I really need them but might as well you know It's a land squirt. That's what these things are called. Land squirts. Oh, yeah. I remember where some stuff is. Now, I actually remember where a lot of stuff is, but... Again, the ashes are not really something I'm planning on doing anything with. I believe there is one brace either in or just outside of this building. Just sworn I heard a. Yeah, I did. Where? Should be one in here.
And then there's another one uphill to the north. This one opens right away. Or if you have to open it somehow else. I don't quite remember, actually. All right, this one opens. That's good. Again, um, not really going to consider the, like, Ainsel River stuff part of, like, a boss zone. But I'm also not going to do this yet anyway. I just want to get the graces that are down here. So I don't have to come back. Take the long way, you know. That's all. Try going up this uh, hill again. I'm, I'm so sure that there's grace up here, but I don't think it's down there. I think it's up here. Just don't remember exactly where it is. I don't remember if you have to like backtrack up here or if it's like just along the road. It's around here somewhere though. Oh, there it is. I found it. stuff all right next 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 temple quarter i guess we could go go there <clears throat> I don't mind unlocking like the map and stuff like that. What is the stuff that's over on this? Is it a glintstone fireflies? Okay. Oh, hello. Quite a few of them here. Anyway. Not get too distracted here. I want the map piece. That's all I want. Also, I think this might have some smithing stones in it too. Oh no. I thought it was over, man. I thought it was over. I don't 
think I grabbed the golden seed that was at the gate. There's a golden seed if you go inside the academy and then go down the bridge. I don't think I grabbed that. I'm gonna do that. go to the uh, main gate. I was looking at the wrong spot on the map. <clears throat> I did activate that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Golden seed over here. I don't think I grabbed this. Did not. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I want to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go to... Oh, where is it? Is this the village of the Albanorx over here? I think it is. I want to go there so that I can grab the piece of that... Oh, what is it called? It's for the Halog Tree Medallion. I don't know if it has another name than that, but... Uh, I think it's, I think it's just called the secret medallion, but it, it goes to the rolled lift. Anyway. Yeah, Village of the Albanorx. I thought it was, I thought it was over here. Maybe it's, maybe it's back there. Because that's Karian Manor. I mean, I guess I can go to the four Belfries. Cool with that. There's a Grace up here. I do have one of the imbued sword keys. There's actually... A... I think it's a shield over here there's like a pack of jellyfish I think they're guarding like a tombstone or something I remember exactly what it is That's frustrating. Dogs, man. It's the fucking dogs, dude. I think it is over there, but I think it's further down. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I always get this area mixed up. That's enough sungin. Uh, 
Oh, I forgot there's a grace over here. Oh, those jellyfish don't look happy. Oh. They don't look happy at all. Oh. I think this is where that shield is, though. Oh my god! Yeah, the jellyfish shield, yeah. The jellies! my runes oh i see i see there's two camps that makes sense oh no all right as, as fun as it would be to get my little ass kicked by these guys. I'm gonna pass on that. I'm gonna respectfully decline. And I'm going to ascend four belfries here. Now three out of the four belfries are accessible. Only three. One of the belfries just had, well, okay, so one of the belfries has an item in it, which is an item that accesses the other belfries. <laughs> and the third imbued sword key that you get is in Kaled. In the, uh, what is the name of that town? I can't remember what the name of it is. It starts with an S, I think. Night sky unceasing. I'm not going to do these right now, but I'll go ahead and drop the sword keys in. Okay. I do need to do the Alpenoric thing, so let's go to the Lasky Ruins and just head west. We're finding this darn thing. This is it right here. Now, now, the, now we're starting to look familiar. The Indomitable. I wonder if we should try to go for the Omen Killer here. What do we think? The Omen Killers are kind of... They're kind of juiced to fight early on.
Dear me. <laughs> He's menacing. He's menacing right now. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. God. Fucking perfumer, dude. Oh, God. I didn't mean to, okay? Didn't mean to, but it's not my fault that this guy was menacing the whole time, okay? He's trying to kill me. I will never give this up. Not to your kind. Oh, come. This freaking guy, dude. I'm either going to have to Celestial Dew Cleanse, or maybe he'll just give it to me if I kill him. You merciless brutes. Let the curse take everything. So bridge over here is what takes us to the omen killer. I think I want to level up a couple of times. Wow, I am 11 runes away from the level. Good lord. Sorry about that. Just needed, just needed 11 runes, Chief. I'm sorry. All right, two ways to go. Let's go this way first. There's like a dagger or something over here. Remember exactly what it is. I think it's a weapon of some, some fashion. There's dogs like hiding in the bushes over here. Thought there was. Right here. I think there's one more.
Help! Whoops. Oh, I jumped over right at the last second. Crucible, not talisman. Stick. I don't think there's anything else. Nice doggy. Oh no! Jesus. Scared the hell out of me, dude. Alright, there is a, another talisman over here that I want to get as well. I think I can get there from the lake facing cliffs? Pretty sure. I am pretty sure. I think this is the faith talisman, if I'm not mistaken. That's over at this camp. There's also a catacomb over here too. Grace is pretty close to here. There it is. And then just further up the road, there should be... Should be a little camp. And in that camp is the 
talisman that I'm looking for. I believe it increases faith by five. Remember if there's another underground area through here. This ruins is a few different buildings. I I know this is another way to get to the academy gates. I don't think there's anything here. should be good. All right. I think we can... I think we can probably do Carrion Manor now. That's probably good. Oops. Hold up, right, yeah, you have to... Let's try that again. can actually get a somber stone from killing this hand out here. I don't really need it right now, but... I think this is a somber stone as well. No, a regular smithing stone. Just kidding. Just kidding. Honestly, don't remember exactly which of these areas has items. I know that Sword of Night and Flame is this way, which I'm not going to be harnessing that weapon this playthrough, but I will I will grab it just to have it. how this sword is just literally sitting here waiting for you to pick it up crazy
Like, you don't have to kill a boss or anything, you know? You don't have to do any of that. You just... You just open the chest, you know? That's all you do. Just open the chest. You open the chest and you pick it up. That's all there is to it, you know? Like you can, you can start a fresh file, right? You can start a fresh file. And then just run over here and pick it up. Now I will say there is the, there is the caveat that the stats to actually wield that thing are insane. It requires 24 int, 24 faith. Which that is pretty difficult to get. Early on, unless you like go kill Grail. So I think you can get with a, with a foul foot, you can get like, I think 90,000 or something. Somewhere in that range. race itself is actually a top this uh, elevator I think I'm gonna do the part up here first this game is so big this game is absolutely massive like even if you're cruising it still takes a while actually get through places when you're playing even remotely casually. That's the right amount. Oh yeah. This sword that I have is considered one of the, like, fabled weapons or whatever. Legendary weapons. I think.
stamina here. Okay, chill. Grace that yeah, I was gonna say it's gotta be a grace that shows up here. You get a little more than four thousand runes, but still still very disappointing. The amount of runes that you get for that boss. mistaken there's an ever jail back here that actually has a decent reward inside Poor guy. Poor guy. Slow down, I'm going too fast. Well, I, I wouldn't say that, but I wouldn't say all that. I feel like I'm going at a decent speed, you know? There's another spell book around here, too. I could be wrong on that, but I, I thought I remember there being a spell book over here or something of that nature. Oh! Huh? He's fast.
Maybe I'm mistaken. I thought there was a spell book over here. It's gonna go this way. It's probably not faster because of the load screen, but I figured maybe it would get myself to be a little closer. Hope you're doing well, Landline. Hope you're doing well. start the Ronnie quest just so I can interact with some NPCs and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure that all that you get from this is some ashes. Probably not worth my time, but strange to me that they let you ride torrent in here. So strange to me. Hmm. A tarnished here. Thou must have some business in mind to come all this way. Oh, I do. No. I, they don't call me the businessman for nothing. No reason in particular, thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this encounter. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well... Has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in Blythe. searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the eternal city. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the thou needs. It hath been a... Okay. We should be good now. Go talk to the chiefs. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. With Blade. I'll give you what His name ain't Blythe, it's Blade. And pray for your success. 
My apologies for the misleading words of warning. I never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rami, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my fellow. Let us give all that we can of ourselves, together, for Lady Rani. Let us give all together. Yeah. Blade. Hmm. I heard about you. Good to finally meet. Name's Blythe. Sworn sword to Mistress Rani. Glad to have you aboard. Well, getting right to business. I'm situated in Limgrave right now. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below to see if I can't. Don't keep me waiting. Ooh. I see. Here's you me. must be Rani's new hireling. Yes, yes, I've heard all about you. I am Selvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down this with you. This guy's a douche. I reside in another tower close by. Come and pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani, if it were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I reside. Come and pay me. Should you? I think that one is. Oh, that's right. We have to go talk to her again. Whoops. I don't know why they did this. Where they made it to where like you you talk to them and then like you have an idea of what the quest is. And you're like, okay, cool. I know what we need to do. Let's go. And then they still make you talk to her again. I have no idea why they did that. Very strange in my opinion. Ah. Allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber. And it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon, and it will be. I have high look. All right, cool. Be totally fine. At least Selvis is in this tower. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps mm -hmm. I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. What's up here? I don't think you get a memory stone from here, but maybe you do. I don't remember. 
most of the towers in the game have them, but because this one is like in a collective of three, one of them has a portal that takes you to no crown, which that's the other one. This might have one. Okay, it does. Cool. Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of the theme of the towers is that for the most part, not every single one, but almost all of them in the game. Except for the two that are next to this tower, and I think there might be one other that doesn't have. I know the only thing I will hear from you. Are we and I have enough. Jeez, he's not being very nice to me right now. I don't know if she's gone to the round table yet. Oh, that's right, the invasion. Yeah, nice try, Chief. One of Gideon's minions thinking they can try to intercept me with the medallion, you know? There's oh, a hello. I've not seen you here before. I am Nefeli Lu, warrior, here by decree of my father. The father. As a fellow tarnished, guided by grace to the round table hold. Ah, yes. I wonder if you've met my foster father. If you haven't already, I advise you introduce yourself. Father is leader of the round table. I'm sure talking to him will be worth your while. Is that some kind of medicine? One that affects the heart, I'd wager. If it's what I think, I have no need of it. I am a warrior. I need no external aid. Not to brave the horrors of battle. Nor to bolster my resolve. It's about time I headed off. I'll see you again, warrior. Should the fates deign it. It's about time I headed off. I don't think she was too happy again, about warrior, me giving her a potion. Should the fates deign it. You like that too much? All right. Um, I do have another stone sword key. Oh, hello there. I don't believe we've met. I'm known as D. Yo, what up, D? I hunt down those who live in death and weed their death root. Heed my warning. Those who live in death should be left well alone. All the more should you spy a mariner among their number. Unless you wish to lay down your life in vain. Maybe I do want to lay down my life in vain, you know? More. Ah, well then. There's something I should mention to you as well. I'm thinking of leaving the round table hold. Do you know of the noble gold mask? Though he was but a tarnished, living outside the lands between, he was a great scholar who foresaw the coming guidance of grace. And now, I hear he has come to the lands between alone to contemplate the golden order. Ooh, to contemplate? I nothing more than to seek his instruction and perhaps even help him in his research. I think so, huh? May the gold... I'm not going to give him the books because if I do that, inevitably when he leaves, that will be a problem. So I have to freaking hunt him down again, and I'm not doing the, the perfect order ending. So. Yeah, those that have a challenge find them well. The girl you bore here, she's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade, but she has a gift. For spirit tuning. I saw another one like her long ago. Their eyes share the same hue. Right, let's just go ahead and do some of that.
I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade. I'm having a good time with the the grafted blade grade sword. Actually, I think I wanna. I think I wanna mess with it a little more. I have. I can take it up to plus four. I don't mind having a little fun with it for a while. Greetings. Hey, de facto, what's up, buddy? Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive, though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never Back in the, the old saddle? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't played the game it's casually in a long time, so... Although... It's doing a casual playthrough, getting my my expansion I'm character set up. For my own purpose. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold. So no more DD2 speedruns. Honestly, I just... I don't really enjoy the movement in the game. Something that important to the run was just going to make me really mad running it, so... Back already. No matter. I don't like... I like being able to like dash swipe and move really fast. It's the like random sliding off of shit. The go. And it's also what the fact her? that like if there's a freaking goblin or a pig hiding in a bush and then I go in the opposite direction because of the freaking auto aim thing. Are you out of your mind? I don't like it. You'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith. Absurd. So Besides, she'd never agree to it. It's what she wants. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. It's maddening, yeah. Yeah, I just... If I do have it, I suppose I'll ask... I just, you know... I, I gotta get ready for the expansion, so... Here we are. I'm really liking this sword. I haven't messed with this sword before. God, this one takes two. There's gonna be more shit. Assassin's Prayer Book, let's go. 90% runs pretty shallow. Skips and mechanics are, are very basic, yeah. Well, honestly, like, I just, I don't see the game getting very much attention from a speedrun scene because the combat is, the combat when you play the game is very fun. But the problem is that you just don't get to spend enough time fighting well, stuff. I can happily... May the golden order shine. Uh, is the door to the two fingers open? Yeah. Are you that new tarnished? Yes. I am. You've done well. Enough about DD2. The I expansion. We're, we're working on it. I interpret the words of the fingers. And Here we are. Yep. Yeah, I, uh. Look there. I, I try to. The fingers tremble to welcome you. Trying to do things a little differently than I normally Let do in, in this game. Because, like, obviously, you know, as a speedrunner. I only really use the speedrun weapons. 
And it, there's been seldom where I've actually been able to try weapons that aren't speedrun or starting class related, so... Somebody suggested I do a greatsword build, so I said, all right, let's just take that a step further and go colossal greatsword. And so I got the uh, the grafted blade, and uh, it's actually really good. It's a really good weapon. Across the realm, life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces, foul curses. I think it back in the day, running glitches got me kind of burned out. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of tough when the game was new. It was kind of tough when the game was new. If you weren't pretty much getting record or really close to record, it was hard to gain traction. That's kind of the only reason I had success is because I was getting record constantly in any percent in AR. Brave tarnished. Your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind. To become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Your fingers, your fingers. Well, a remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, your fingers, your do fingers. Not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished, you are here to take. A oh, I'm gonna take it all. Ah, great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Someone heard saying Lord. back in the old saddle about and Elden Ring, so yeah. Grace was extended to your kind. I believe this game is over two years old already. Tarnish. Crazy. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished, show no mercy. Have their heads, take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the dying. The Golden Order is done with Queen America. Queen They're America. done with her, dude. Godric the Graft, it was but a distant relation. The runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Ah, the chill tainted hands. Ah. I will say the uh, the grafted dragon is actually a really fun weapon. I, w I would definitely recommend. Now, let do. I would definitely recommend it. It's a great weapon. I used it in my first playthrough for a little while. I had fun with it. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. But now I'm in this sorry state. I had a little mishap, and now I can't move. As you might guess, well, that sucks. It's far from ideal. Ah, I know. I'm privy to a few magical battle arts. Would you care to learn one? Time can move rather slowly, stuck here, you know. A little conversation goes a long way. I mean, yeah, I could. Ash of War. These are Ashes of War, yeah. Ah, 
You defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great ruler. You're goddamn right. Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. Oh, wait. As you might have guessed, <laughs> I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. His armor set is so sick. Hmm. Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand. Since you're so scary and all. I'm scary? Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. D was telling that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. The battle art you've learned is of the Glintstone family. They were conceived at the Great Academy of Rhea Lucaria. I'm gonna say hello, gotta start work soon. Have a good weekend. Hey, past, you too, buddy. They obeyed laws Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. The Golden Order, or so I'm told. Fascinating, isn't it? that the Golden Order was pliable enough to absorb practices that contradicted itself in the past. With the Order broken, twisted, and in need of repair, such adaptability is more important now than ever. So I would need to come into possession of about 4,000 runes, roughly. There's an invasion down here. <laughs> yeah, no mercy. I'm, I'm enjoying the sword, honestly. It's pretty fun. <laughs> pretty fun. Isn't there a way to open the door over here? I thought that there was... I know in, like, the real round table, if you come down here, there's a couple of items you can pick up that are decently worthwhile. Ah, yes, here we go. Cipher. You do at least get some some runage from him, so at least that's uh, at least that's good. I thought that there was open the door. Leave without having to crawl back up, but I guess not. I don't want to see if I can grab the stuff to go get a couple more golden seeds. Upgrade my flask some more. I don't have another talisman that's like really good. Those who live all the more. Okay. Let's go to. I want to go dupe that remembrance. 
So let's go. It should be right here. Fourth church. Take care of that, I think. Probably be good. There's also the Everjail over here, too. one requires two keys i think i don't know if i have two keys oh no this one's just one key just kidding i don't know how many keys i have left though i actually have three that's not terrible i would consider maybe doing a two and scar seal that's actually not a bad one obviously the sore seal is better but i wouldn't mind just taking a couple extra attributes why not might go ahead and grab bloodhound's fang as well I'm going to go dupe Godric's Remembrance. At this one here. You might need... You might actually need to go to the capital before it lets you do this. Let me see. Oh, no. It Never mind. I don't think you can actually open these. Mustn't forget of the grace over here. Need to go to the uh, Stormhill Shack. Actually, there's a seed there. Well, it's been an age. So how can I? Oh, let's see. Is there anything worthwhile here? Okay, the Stone Sword keys. I would gladly pop one of those. Have a safe. Gladly cop one of those. All right, let's go to the Stormhill Shack. The golden seed should be here now. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, and now I also want to go to Stranded Graveyard, and I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the tomb down here.
This tomb is pretty fast. also like the tutorial one basically so God damn. Where have I been? I have been very tired. Completely exhausted. Um, no, I was I was pretty busy this week. On Monday was the eclipse. And we had to travel a little bit for that, and we spent the day at the zoo, so. Um, yeah, we spent the day at the zoo. How far did you have to travel? Um, not too far, about 45 minutes each way. But then, like I said, we spent the day at the zoo, so... So, it, with uh, obviously, with, like, all the walking around and everything like that... It was a lot, for sure. Tuesday, I was gonna stream Tuesday actually, but I was just so tired from Monday that I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it. And then Wednesday, I am starting to get back into like the habit of taking Wednesdays off. Uh, I'm starting to get into the habit of taking Wednesdays off, so that's why I wasn't live Wednesday. I also had a show that night on Games Done Quick Hotfix, so... I ran Resident Evil 2 Remake on Hotfix that day. Or I should say that night. And then... 
I was working on like YouTube stuff and just trying to make sure all of my upcoming YouTube content was going to release on time for the next couple of weeks. And between just basically everything going on, I was just so fucking tired on Thursday that I just took Thursday off too. Back to normal now, though, so that's all that matters. Oh, God. Okay. What's the motive now? Elden Ring speedruns still the DLC. Um, so, first off, I want to set up my file for the DLC, which I have not done at all. I don't have, like, all of my characters from when I played the game back two years ago. Like, all like my first playthrough file. I think, I actually do think I have my first playthrough file on my Xbox, because I actually did my first playthrough on Xbox, but I'm gonna be maining this on, on PC, and I'm also not going to be on the game day one because that day is my son's birthday so i probably am not gonna bother with it on my xbox so i'm just gonna honestly i'm just gonna um do it this way where i'm just setting my file up on pc all right there's another one that i want if we go to stormvale castle It is the, I think it's the left side chamber. Yeah, left side chamber. There's another golden seed we can get. Can't transfer saves from Xbox to PC. Sadly, no. Sadly, no. I've hardly done anything here in Stormville. Oh shit, I should level up before I end up getting myself killed by accident. Go 30 vigor before I start pumping strength again. Character must be ultra juiced. I mean, this character's not. I just started today. Just started working on this one. Like I said, I don't. I aside from what I might have on my Xbox, I don't have any of my files from when I speed ran. And I figured I don't actually have a casual playthrough of Elden Ring on my VOD channel. So I figured that this would be a good time for me to go ahead and get a casual playthrough on VOD. I have like like some challenge runs and stuff. And my, my actual first playthrough is actually on my archive channel. But my archive channel is not one that I promote very often. And I want to have a casual playthrough of Elden Ring on my VOD channel. I feel like it's... Uh, I feel like it just kind of makes sense. guys move way too much.
Yeah, it's been it's been some time since I've really gotten into the game. And I'm also using a slightly different build than I would normally use too, just to try to add some challenge. I don't normally use like colossal weapons at all. I usually power stance. Like smaller weapons if I want uh, two-handed experience because they're a lot faster. I've used quite a few of the weapons in this game, but I haven't used all of them. Thought about doing one of those playthroughs where you use like a different weapon every boss. I thought about doing something like that, but a run like that takes like many, 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 many hours. I don't think I've... I mean, I've got plenty of time, and we have two months, a little over two months before the DLC comes out, but... I mean, are there like 200? Yeah, probably even more than that. I don't know. There's there's so many. There's so many fucking weapons in this shit. I want to do another challenge before the DLC comes out, but I'm just not sure. Not sure what I'll be able to do. Yeah, and considering that there are 165 bosses in this shit, too, like, I mean, there's definitely more than enough weapons. <laughs> more than enough weapons, but yeah, it's. Really, all there is in here is just that one weapon? Thought maybe there'd be something else. Or how to be compared to the main game, maybe 20-30%. I know Miyazaki said in an interview that... Um... That it was, like, the total, like, surface area is about the size of Limgrave. Kind of get the sense that he's saying that because he doesn't want to like over. He doesn't want to like over uh, commit. I think he would rather pleasantly surprise people by having way more content. So I'm not saying get your hopes up that there's going to be more, but I would guess that there's probably 20 hours of content. Maybe more. hours reasonable for a DLC yeah I mean it might even be more than that I don't know like I said I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get my hopes up personally but I really would not be surprised at all If it is the size of Limgrave, I would say probably 20 hours, but if it's, uh, if it's the Miyazaki secret, uh, secret cell, you know, where it's actually, like, way more than that, uh, I wouldn't be surprised, but I would plan on maybe 20 to 30 hours, tops. Other games you're looking to play, like Stellar Blade or Rise of the Ronin? Uh, I might check out Stellar Blade. I think that's coming out in a week or so. If I'm not mistaken.
There's a talisman here. I have to have to run a little ways to get to it, but there is a talisman here. At the very top of the uh, the place. I can get there from here, but I don't want to go this way yet. Right, this is the way I came in. I am very curious to see... Actually, you know what? Yeah, okay. Let's go this way. Curious to see how the DLC speedrun will be, though, because obviously you have to progress to Moog. But because the weapon scaling is so different, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to come together. My guess is that it's not going to be worth getting this, like, crazy juiced weapon. if we're just going to be replacing it when we actually get to the DLC anyway. Where am I going? Uh, I'm just collecting stuff. Item down there, I think. There's a bunch of items down there. What the fuck? How would a new game DLC speedrun work? So... I think, just off the top of my head, you would probably do... Uh, what is his name? Uh, Var Vare's Quest. To get the, um, like, the Lord of Blood Talisman or whatever. Or Charm, whatever the heck it is, that allows you to, um... To teleport to Mogwin Dynasty or Mogwin Palace, whatever the hell. Um... That's my guess, is that you would do that quest... And then you would probably do the Radon skip to kill Radon, since apparently you have to kill Radon as well to get into the DLC. Not sure why you have to kill Radon, because I don't think you need to kill Radon for the Moog quest. So. Not entirely sure what the logic is for it, but. people came to that conclusion well it's just because Miyazaki said that you have to kill Radon like inner space stuff um but yeah so my guess is that it's basically just going to be rushing the quest And then just teleporting there. The only thing I don't understand, though, is how are we going to deal with Moog early on? That remains to be seen. Because trying to kill Moog at level fucking 12 or whatever the hell we're going to be is going to be a fucking shit show. So... I don't really know, honestly, I don't really know what that's going to look like right now, but. I think Moog is probably going to be the hardest part of the DLC just because of the fact that you're going to be so under leveled for it. Definitely not the best scenario. This is how we get to the... Charm, if I'm not mistaken.
that right there. Just got to remember how to jump down onto it. There might be a ladder. I don't actually remember. But I don't remember if there's a wall here or not. something, but I could be wrong. I guess we'll just have to see. Oh, yeah, that's right. This kind of goes over the entrance. It's been a long time since I've been over here. Long time. This is just the top of where the ballistas are, if I'm not mistaken. I think we can actually ambush them from here. I don't remember, I don't remember what all this is. You think, I think you might need to... Uh, Use one of those stone sword keys. It's been a while. Remember? Alright, at least we can secure this right here. Make it to where I'm not gonna just get completely bodied. about this room. Speedruns do I do for Elden Ring? Uh, so when the game was new, I used to do any percent and all remembrances um, glitched. I uh, haven't really done much since then. I got pretty burned out on the game after about three months of running it. Part of it had to do with me preparing to get into GDQ and feeling like I kind of wasted my time on the wrong things. So I ended up 
kind of pivoting a little bit and starting to go in a different direction. And then I ended up, that ended up sending me on a hiatus for like four months. But I had world record in any percent and AR a number of times. That, that any percent run used to be world record and I just never, just never bothered to go back. The problem with that, so I wouldn't say the problem, but that run was very close to a perfect run with the strats that were current at the time. Very close. But the same day I got that record, a new strat was found that saved like 25 seconds. The same day, so I was not able to hold that record as long as I wanted to. And then, even shortly thereafter, a new, um, like, combat mechanism was found. Or a new glitch, I should say, called the Chainsaw Glitch. And that saves just stupid amounts of time. The problem with the Chainsaw Glitch for me was that it is not very accessible. I remember if this thing gives you a... Any, anything like really good. Yeah, the wrong warp was around when I was running the game. But yeah, in terms of all the other stuff, unfortunately, unfortunately, the chainsaw glitch made the game not accessible for me to run because it was too painful on my wrist, so. I just, I never came back for uh, any percent glitchless. I did learn some elements of any percent glitchless for a tournament that I participated in last year. Oh shit, he's not dead. That's not good. All right, I don't want to go this, wow, shit. I don't really have an option. No, here's what I can do. I can go back through the, the, the front gate. That should be fine. My character is very bloody. way in a long time either. Wait, really? I didn't realize that there was a thing over there. Huh. Interesting. I had no idea about that. Huh. I don't think I've ever been over there. This is the way you're meant to go. Although... Remember if... There's a drop down point over there. I think there is. Yeah, right here. Be 
can go around. Go ahead and use the rune arc. Give myself the uh, little health boost. Although, that's going to do much for me. At least not right now. <clears throat> Castle's gotten just wrecked by fucking cannonballs, man. Crazy. It shows. I think this is just one big circle. I know if you can... I guess that answers my question. You can get up here, but I don't know if there's any items or anything worthwhile. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna just rest. I know it's gonna respawn all the enemies, but... It's gotta happen. Yeah, I really want 30 Vigor. Nope. I don't think so, Chief. Oh! The hook claws are a fun weapon. Here you go, Sammy's yon chest. <laughs> Allow me to open yon chest. I think that's it for this area. Trust me, there's still no shortage of yon chest. Hello, frame stutter. 
game doesn't have as many chests compared to DD2. Uh, yeah, not quite. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. See ya. Not as many, but there's still quite a lot. And here's the thing about DD2, though. Most of the stuff in those chests is fucking garbage, dude. Most of the stuff in those chests is garbage. Oh! Didn't mean to do all that. Allow me to open yon chest. Okay. Let's maybe actually do the jump this time. Brick hammer. I feel juiced. Collect the contents from yon chest. Okay. I think that's everything. I don't know how to get to this thing. There's gotta be another thing up here. Oh, hi. Goodbye. And that looks like death. There's anything down there? Ah, oh, glad I dropped down. I forgot about that. Only mushrooms, but... Hey, mushrooms are mushrooms, okay? It's big. Huge. Ooh. Almost fell. Oh my god, dude. These fucking camera angles. What the hell? Oh, hi. You're supposed to either pull a lever up here or activate it from downstairs. I don't remember. I thought I was up here earlier, though. Oh, it's that one. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I did a first playthrough take. Uh, I want to say it was about 100 hours. And I would say that initially it was pretty challenging. And it got quite a bit easier, I would say. As I started to, like, get used to, like, the jumping mechanics and stuff like that. I had played quite a bit of Dark Souls before this came out.
I think in order to cross, you have to lower uh, to go up there from down below. Boys. Hey, what's up, Chronos? Uh, Sekiro had a jump as well, but obviously Sekiro is a little bit of a different game in terms of how it all plays out. how to get up there. I think it's like this. We're jumping across this way. I know you can drop down that way, but I don't think that's the way you're meant to reach the talisman that's over here. I think this is the claw talisman, if I'm not mistaken. don't remember how you actually get up there. See that ladder? I thought that there was another ladder that you would climb to reach the top, but I'm just not seeing it. Maybe you get in there from the battlement that's over there. I'm going to go into this building. I could have sworn that you got there from here. this thing over here allows me to jump up onto it. Maybe that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just it right here. There it is. I was trying to figure that out. There we go. Seems good. Seems good. the one that does jump attacks, right? Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. Okay. feel pretty good about that part. Uh, let's go to Secluded Zone. Wonder if Miyazaki will keep some form of transportation in his upcoming games like the horse riding? Maybe. Who knows? We were talking about it when I did my first playthrough of Sekiro that I, I kind of feel like that's coming with a potential Sekiro sequel. The true ending of Sekiro is very much hinting at the fact that there's going to be another game.
Oh, okay, so that's just one. Okay. I can break it. Maybe I need to get the Stormlord guy over here. I can't remember. I think you have to lure the Storm Lord over here. Or the giant, whatever the hell he is. Here, buddy. just if you let him go too far. Is 724. Oh, All right. There's more items here, but I think I'm good for now. I don't think there's any more talismans, so that's kind of what I'm here for at the moment. Yeah, I enjoyed Sekiro. I wouldn't mind a second one. Can't believe it took me so long to get around to playing it, but it was good. All right. Lookout Tower. Nomadic Merchant. The guy that had the servant for the quest, I think she's normally around here. She starts the Lord of Frenzied Flame quest. Not that you actually need to follow that quest very thoroughly at all, because if you just... <laughs> you just go down into the lower part of the capital naked, it's all you need to do, you know? I don't think there's any other golden seeds... Over here? I don't think there is. 
Uh, minor Erd tree. I mean, there, there's like this stuff, you know, these areas that I haven't been to yet, but there's like a minor Erd tree over here and all that. I know how much I care about that right now, but let's see. I could go to the four belfries. And defeat the grafted scion for a couple of weapons. That'll be good. That's that's this one over here. I know that that one is Faramazula. is, in fact, this one. The Scion should die pretty fast. Now that we've got a Giga weapon here. know if that door is unlocked yet when you come back here I actually don't know what causes it to unlock in the first place I thought maybe you needed a key but get the storm lord's ashes or whatever the hell storm, storm king something or another oh it's just open storm hawk king yeah Oh, and also yon chest. Also yon chest. Oh. I could go to Frenzy Flame Village, drop down to the minor herb tree. That's an option. Um, I could also go to Saluvis's Rise. I tried to give her the potion. I don't think he's going to be too happy that I failed that, though. The only thing I will hear. Are we under? I have enough. Is that I took? I have no time. The only thing okay. I have. I guess he. I yeah. Okay. Whatever. I guess he just didn't do the thing. That's fine. It's whatever. Uh, we did that ever jail. We could go get Bloodhound's Fang. I grabbed the grace there earlier. Darn. Not to grab the grace.
Oh, I forgot about this guy. Ah, uh, you must be the new tarnished. You do well to steer clear of a gill lake, fledgling. A dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad, or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. Don't. You say so, Chief. Ever jail should be this way. Feller Blade better have young chests. Yeah, we'll just have to see. I did not play the demo. Thought about it. Thought about checking it out. Game's close anyway, yeah. Yeah, we got what, like a week? Two weeks? Turbo juice weapon. I break all my fingers. Yeah, it's it's really tricky to execute. Requires a lot of frame perfect inputs, unfortunately. Which proved to be a little too much for myself. Do uh even want to bother putting the time into? Dude said that he was gonna go to his fort and he owes me a golden seed, so. Not exactly where in the fort he goes. I don't think the fort is exactly clear. Or maybe it is. Like the enemies go here, they run away. Oh, never mind. Demi humans, that's exciting. Ah, well, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. Just It. Uh, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste. And not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Oh, he was going to do it. To have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I must begin for a true. I actually don't know who he's referring to. He might be referring to the guy that's in the bigger fort to the south that I didn't talk to. Sure. You know what? Give me your golden seed. I don't give a fuck. Give me the seed. Fucking loser. <laughs> Fucking loser, dude. That was mean, I know. It was mean. I'm sorry. 
I'm not sorry. He was he was a little pretentious for me, you know. Storm Hill Ever Jail. I mean, he thought very lowly of me when I first met him, so. I think I did the Ever Jail up here. This is the wizard guy, if I'm not mistaken. This guy's moveset is just disgusting. He just keeps going. Oh, okay. What the fuck was that? I did after I finished the game. Yeah, the Everjail, some of them are pretty challenging. Crucible Knight is pretty tough. All right. One here as well, but it's kind of a run to get there. I guess I could swing by real quick. I don't know if I have the keys though. Not sure. Well, we're going to find out. We are going to find out. That is for sure. So this goes up, and then if you curl back this way, there should be an Everjail.
Well, sorry about your luck, dog. Better luck next year. <laughs> Percent completion in the game. The only thing I couldn't be was the guy on the horse in front of the Malaketh fog gate. Yeah, the Draconic Tree Sentinels are pretty tough. Speaking of which, speaking of which, I think we can probably take care of that one now. torrent just couldn't beat him yeah he's pretty tough they those draconic tree sentinels hit really fucking hard they hit really hard Supposed to be there. It's probably going to teleport. him by attacking his foot. You know what? Alright. Akil, oh Akil. Flame of Akil. Okay. There's so many other bosses that I could kill, but I don't know what I actually care about right now. Do this one, perhaps? Although I don't know if that's technically a boss. 
don't know if that's an Everjoe or a tower. I think this is a tower. But even so, yeah, it's a tower. I could do the... Uh... Now, what do they call that? The Knight Rider fuckers. There's one right here. Knight's Cavalry. I think for this tower, I think you have to use the spirit spring here. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Lame of Agil. This is the one that's in the freaking water. I think you actually have to interact with the thing before it spawns, now that I'm remembering. So there's one right here in the bush. One in the water. And I think there's one back here away on the cliffside not clinging on but like the way these ridges are there's one that's like nestled in between two rocks or something if I'm not mistaken somewhere in this vicinity oh no never mind he's right here Six K. We gotta spend that, dude. Gotta go shopping. there's a mariner over here or what this is i think it's an alabaster lord which means he probably has a spell Well, all right. 
Alrighty then. Guess that settles it. There's a catacomb over here. Indeed. It's probably not a bad idea to go strength up to 40. I do need to uh, use a couple of these because we're really close to another level. Strength 40 with the power stance should be pretty good. This room works. Maybe it's not this room. Maybe it was the other room after all. I'm trying to remember. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's. There's always, these catacombs always have, like, some trick to them. This one might be the, like, lower thing here. Let's see. Stop. Good God. Sometimes what you can do is on the elevator... Send it up the other way. Oh, wait, no. This one doesn't have an elevator. All right. There's got to be an illusory wall, then, where the spikes are. Got to be. There is simply no other explanation. It's been a while since I've done this catacomb, though, so I'm not 100% sure.
go under the lifting platform. Uh, I I tried that earlier. It looks I, I I don't think this one is the one that goes down the safety. That looks like death. Oh wait, hold on. No, there's a flower there. Hold on. That that straight up looks like death. Very misleading. I looked down there before and I saw this water and it looked like it looked like the fog that like kills you if you just like land in it. Too scared to jump. I mean, I would have jumped eventually. I figured it out in my first playthrough. I would have figured it out again, but. Oh, good. I haven't been into this catacomb probably since my first playthrough. Catacombs are not exactly amazing content after you've beaten the game a couple of times. They're not exactly amazing content because it's a lot of the same shit over and over. And like you already kind of know what's coming by the time you get to like Altus or like Mountaintops of the Giants. Because you've already had the same fucking gargoyle camping behind a wall for the 18th fucking time and you're like, wow, never saw this before. Some of the catacomb bosses are pretty cool, though. Okay. It's kind of annoying, though. I I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of fucking annoying when... They just literally duck underneath your shit. Okay, that's so stupid, dude. Guardian and a catacomb here, too. I don't know if I really care enough about it right now. Oh, what are my other options? What can we do? We could do the bell bearing hunter where Bernal is. There you are. Oh shit, hold on. Yeah, the gargoyles are fucking annoying as shit. Or the, sorry, the imps. Don't think I have enough. Oh, no. Oh, maybe I do. Perfect. Well. Oh, no. You got enough to keep me busy? No, you fucking wow. don't. How about that? I believe you have to come here right at nightfall. It can't be like in the middle of the night. And this will fade and he'll... Should get the bell bearing hunter shortly. 
This dude's bell bearing is actually kind of sick. Let you buy uh, beast bones, which is really good for some of the arrows. Resin is good. We like that. We like that indeed. We could get the book up here. That's something. There's also this stuff over here. Minor Erd Tree. We're just out here doing stuff, chat. Out here doing stuff. We could also go ahead and kill the Glintstone Dragon while we're here. Smarag, dude. Whiffed. Nice. What? Oh, shit.
Smaragdu. loser. Sorry about your luck, Chief. Great Blade, Great Blade Phalanx. Let's go, dude. I might actually start with some magic in the expansion. It actually might be worth going over to this minor earth tree because there should be a uh, a tier there. Should be able to get there from here. In the speed run, we used to actually use an out of bounds here. So, should be able to get there from here. By uh, scaling, there's a rock slide cliff thing over here. There's also a catacomb here, too. I guess while we're over here, we could just do the catacomb. Fucking amazing, dude. Oh, the backstab, dude.
Bye. <laughs> I don't understand why you get the glintstone sorcerer ashes when he spawns a fucking crucible knight. How does that make any goddamn sense? All oh, right. It does. There's a little more to this catacomb besides what's over here. Uh oh. Oh! Soldier Ashes. Okay. That should be it for this one. But let's go back to the runes and catacombs. And that way we can just go back to the entrance. It would be nice and easy. Let's go to the tower over here. I think there might be a race over here, actually. I think I got that one, didn't I? Ah! thought that was the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The illusory ladder. Demon. Go to the minor herd tree. And take care of this guardian here.
Oh, shit. No, 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 no. That was bad. That was bad. Interesting to see that I rarely will lock on. I mean, I do. I just don't do it with every single boss in this game. Some some bosses in this game are actually easier if you don't lock on. for the crystal tears. I appreciate that. I feel accomplished from this area. Oh, what else? What else have we here? Did most of that. Could go up this way. There's kind of a lot. Oh, let's see. What about over here? They look, for the most part, we've wrapped up pretty good in Limgrave. I'm going to go to Church of Pilgrimage, I guess, and we can go do the catacomb and the... Minor Erd Tree here. There's more to do in addition to that, but I think for now we can. Let's do this. Okay, so the catacomb entrance is below. Let's see it there. Well, on stone sword keys. Fucking ow.
I know you can elevate your position doing that. wall here or not so How it's done. What's the DLC? Uh, it is June 21st, my son's birthday, so I will not be playing it on day one, sadly. They could have picked any other day of the year. But it just had to be on a freaking... Had to be on a birthday, you know? We got a lot of days to choose from. There's this minor herb tree as well. I think I want to wait to do that one though because there's a, there's more than just a couple things to do in that area. I think it would be important to hold off on that one just for now. Just for now. I think it might not be a bad idea to go ahead and take care of Renala just to have the stuff you know just go ahead and settle it you know get my two great runes be able to respec if I need to let's go ahead and do let's take care of Renala also I'm still le region locked to Liurnia right now and I feel like we've done not all there is to do in Liurnia, but we've done a really big chunk of it. And I would like to open up other regions potentially. Do everything. Pretty close. Thank you. 
This takes me up to that rooftop that I missed earlier. anything to do with that actually but it's cool is there anything over here uh, I don't think so all right yeah let's go fight Renala this fight should be pretty straightforward and give me quite a few levels as well To become a sweeting. Fair and fine. Probably gonna be wrapping up the stream here pretty soon, chat. Might do a couple other things, but I'll be wrapping up soon. Shit, I should have uh, played the cutscenes, my bad. Sorry, I skipped the cutscene. That was my fault, y'all. That cutscene's actually pretty cool. It's my bad. Quick fight. Quick fight. Very good. Where did he flee, my sweetings? I'm out from I'm whence out he hide. From whence he hide. There are books and light aplenty. Dither not. Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones? 
To be better born anew. Anew. Why has she got such a tiny head for such a big body? I don't understand. <sighs> Thou. Is it thy wish to be born anew? Anew. To become a sweeting. To become a sweeting, fair and fine. my beloved egg. <laughs> be not alarmed. I would birth thee. Yep, there we go. As a sweeting. Fair and fine. Fair and fine. Fair and fine. All right, let's get some dog gam levels. Before we do that, go to the round table. I had my doubts, but my look at you. Giga gaming. Once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree. And an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The fingers expect the fingers. as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this, a token of farewell. Well, thank you. Now, go forth. Become, become Elden Lord. Elden Lord. Oh. <sighs> Elden Ring. Queen Marika is the vessel of the Elden Ring, carrier of its vision. A god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. A grim punishment for shattering the Order. Despite her godhood, the fingers speak. Marika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and a vision's vessel. Confer great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. The fingers have willed it so. Now you may go. Okay. Receive power from remembrance. Receive equipment of champions. Better buy all that armor, you know? Elden Lord. Alright, we're not region locked to Lyurnia anymore. Again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yep. You, is it? It's I me. I didn't notice you there. Lay out your arms. Job, same as ever. Just lay out your arms. Those words were not meant for you. I may be prisoner to you, tarnished lot, but my prayers are mine, and mine alone. Well, I've had my say. 
I'll be more careful too. Not Roderica. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. Right. I'll have a Smith and Stone 5, so. Won't be able to do much there. Those who all the mob. Talk to Gideon. You've received the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then I bid you welcome as a true member of the round table. I am known as Gideon Ofnir, as a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes, won't you? Perhaps. Is that portion what I think it is? Bloody Salavis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. But I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Or would you rather hand that potion to me <laughs> and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? I'll give it to him. Why not? Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salavis, but don't give anything away. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect <laughs> a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of Grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. Ensha. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My apologies for that nasty business. Ensha got rather ahead of himself, it seems. As his master, I'd like to express my regret. But now, Ensha is slain and gone. Finished. Forevermore. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Alright. He basically just gives you a general location of where they are. I have not stopped here yet. So, it would be good to go ahead and do that. Just to have like the PvP items and stuff. I don't know about PvP in the DLC, but it'd be nice to have the items just in case. I think that's level up a couple of times here.
right. I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at today. We have lifted our little personal region lock on Liurnia, so I can go either to Altus or to Kaled. Doesn't really matter which one I do next. I'll probably do Altus. Just because... I know that there's a lot more upgrade materials there than there is in Kaled. And that'll also trigger the Radon Festival, so that way it'll be a little bit more straightforward to actually do stuff in Kaled later. So, we'll probably start with Altus tomorrow, but... Well, no, I guess I do technically have to go to Kaled next because... Well, no, I don't have to. I don't need to necessarily get the Dectus plate. I could just take the Cavern to get up there, so... Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do things a little differently than normal. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do tomorrow. I'll probably go to Altus. But that's going to do it for me today. Feel good about the progress. Appreciate y'all for hanging out. For those of you that might be new, uh, maybe you caught me on Hotfix or something this week or watching Dragon's Dogma, whatever that might be. Uh, I do stream six days a week typically. And I usually start at 9 a.m. Eastern. Sometimes I start a little bit late, usually between 9 and 9.30 Eastern time. And I pretty much go until whenever. Uh, I usually try to go for anywhere from six to nine hours, just depending on what I have going on. Usually take Wednesdays off. Uh, I did update my schedule on Twitch, by the way, to actually reflect the, the changes that we made. Uh, I've been doing this schedule for like four months now, and I did not actually update my official schedule thing on Twitch. So that has been done, and that is good to go now. A um, couple of things real quick before we go, though. Uh, I am going to throw my socials in the chat. You guys can follow me on social media at Hazeblade TV. You can also join the Discord server, which I highly recommend because that is where I post my updates and announcements or if I need to make a change to the stream schedule, anything like that. That is the go-to place where I do that. I used to do that on Twitter. I don't do that anymore because it, it seems weird putting something out to the masses and people that don't even know me that I'm not streaming that day. It's kind of weird. I think the Discord is a much better place for that. So uh, definitely join the Discord so that way you can get the announcements, schedule changes, anything like that if and when they happen. Um, I try to post on there pretty often and I'm pretty good about if, if anything needs to change or if I have anything to announce, I'm pretty good about posting on the Discord. So definitely join that. Uh, sub to the YouTube channel. This playthrough is going to be on my VOD channel. I have some Elden Ring content on my VOD channel, but I don't have a casual playthrough of me just enjoying the game on there. That first playthrough is actually on my archive channel. So if you want to check that out, sub to the archive channel. But this playthrough will be on my VOD channel along with all of my other casual content from now on. Um, that is within my niche, of course. Everything that's non-niche will still go to archive. But um, when I had made the archive channel, Elden Ring was kind of not really in my niche at the time. And I, I kind of just made the decision based on the fact that it was old content, not super in my niche. That's since changed. So this playthrough will be on my VOD you want to see my first playthrough ever you can catch it on my archive channel sub to those channels sub to my main channel as well i think i'm going to put that dragon's dogma 2 speed run that i did last week up on there at some point when i can get around to doing the edits and all that stuff so um that is it for me though for today uh, again i'll be back at 9 a.m tomorrow i will see if i can throw off a raid to somebody real quick though before we go let me see let me see who's around i haven't been raiding recently i need to get back to that Oh, let's see. Send you guys over to... I will send you guys over to Kendrick. Doing uh, Once Human. I have no idea what that game is, but uh, wish him luck. And I will be back at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, I do have a sponsor tomorrow as well. So um, it's going to be HelloFresh. Pretty excited to work with them again. I worked with them last year, and it was pretty awesome. So we'll have a little uh, we'll have a little goal, and if we meet the goal, then I'm going to do a marathon. So um, it'll be a good time. So until then, y'all, take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, y'all.